The observer would like to advise that the following video comes with a trigger warning. The content in this video is of a sensitive nature, so please beware that the topic of this video may trigger you. The observer recommends that you consider your own mental health before you watch this video. And then, yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, this sounds all a bit mad, obvious. I don't know anything about that. You lot saying in the comments, no, you don't. You're snitching on yourself that you take crystal, basically. <laughs> I am myself because he gave it Is there that many crystal takers in the chat where you lot are all like, no, that's not how you take it? Really? <laughs> really? So how do you <laughs> take it then? <laughs> so how do you take it then? MDMA. Ah, oh, MDMA crystals. Okay, MDMA I do know about. Um, yeah, you, you definitely put that, them, that shit in your... Was it like a brownie colour? Yeah. Oh, okay, MDMA. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, that shit leave you fucked up. I'm still. not changing my story. I'm just trying to get everything out of there because I'm quite nervous. Hey, Shad Hust, don't try to uh, don't try to turn it on me like don't I watch fucking documentaries, bro? What documentaries are you watching when they explain to you how to use crystal like that, my G? He explained to it to me. I never I never really I never seen it before and he gave it to me. Mm. I mean that's the only like way crystal. that's the only way like he crystal. feels like comfortable to sleep with me. Do you understand what I mean? That's the only way he feels comfortable to sleep with me. <laughs> okay, Shan, I might have to take your word for it, man. Maybe I need to catch up on some more documentaries, fam. I don't know. Don't know. <sighs> but I mean, Chad, I... can even, you can even ask Chelji how she buries, uh, how he buries me in that restaurant. You can even tell her and ask her, did I walk out? And he never looked for me. And then it was like he was threatened to um, to keep my clothes and he telling me to get, find a way to get back to Kent and all of that palaver. Then he was like, I was surprised that he even brought, brought my stuff to the train station. Um, Titi, do you have anyone's account that you can use that has enough followers to go live? Do you know anyone who has live stream no. access? Nobody. No. Okay. Um, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I want to get TT into the court and I want to get Jedi into the court. I want to get all these people in Birdman because yesterday... knows that I've been, I've been to Birdman's house. He knows. He said, he said that yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm going to smoke on camera. If any of you are easily influenced, yeah, because I am an influencer, please don't blame me if you smoke, okay? On my birthday, on my birthday, I'm uh, um, at the, at the apartment know. when I came back. He locked me in the door and he's like, oh, chill, stay here. And then once you calm down, once you um, stop being mad, we, you can come out of, of the room. Then next minute now, I just stayed in there. And then he told me yeah, at night when Chaldi went home. Yeah, I got out before Chaldi went home. And then um, he was like, come in the living room, come in the living room, come in the living room, come on. It's going to be your vibe. Come on, stop being like this. Stop being like that. Come on. And then even his cousin says, oh, you know what? You guys are too toxic. Like, you guys are really too toxic for one another. And I'm like, yeah. And then I was like, what am I meant to say with all of this? And then the story went was... Yeah, we man. The stop story that. went was that I was drinking. We was met having a laugh. We was having a joke. I kind of put everything behind me. I tried to give it a chance and see where it's going to go. And then I was just sitting there. And then it was like... His cousin's making a laugh. We're all having a laugh. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to go to bed. So I went to bed and then I fell asleep. And then he came into the room, woke me up. And then from my sleep. And then, yes, he touched me. And then basically he done what he did. Then, um, then on the 13th of August, I left his. 13th of August, I left his, and then um, basically, I left his. I stayed at my partner's house. Did you my, call the police uh, at, at some stage about huh? this? Because there was allegations that you had called the police. I did call the police when he took my stuff to uh, Maidstone train station. I did call the police. Someone was there beside me. At that time, it was my ex-manager. I don't speak to anymore. And then... Um, For what? Like, huh? what, what? What kind of manager? My boss manager, who helped me 
when I was working in the restaurant. Okay. He helped me move all my stuff out of there. Okay. And then basically, he took it to where I live in it, um, to my ba- my, my baby father's house. And then I moved everything back in there. That was the 20th of August. On the 20th of August, I did call the police. The police said that at the end of the day, we only can refer you to Fitcher and Port. We can go down there and um, talk, but obviously it will be your words against his. And then the police didn't really do much to help me. And then that's when it's like, I just took the turn and I just blocked him on everything. And I can't be the one who's talking to him personally because like Cobra really has put me in so much trauma where it's like if I see his face or anything like that it just like it just makes me cry because the he put me in so much emotional non-understanding not being a friend and it's just like he will just get you drugged up just to, for you to sleep with him. And then even when it is like he got me drugged up, yes, my baby father has called me. It wasn't me calling him. He called me. Do you understand what I mean? He called me. So when I'm going through all of these calls, it's like I'm also going to get ready for court as well as I'm going through court for my child as well and it's just a lot on my plate right now i just don't know where to live i just don't have anyone by my side and there's just me there's just me 2023 i have took beatings after beatings i have took 23 so much bullshit from everyone and i'm just like right now this is why it's like i kept quiet for so long because it's like no one will hear my words do you understand his cousin will always defend him even though it's wrong his cousin did defend him yesterday, but then, they, like, towards the end, um, Rich Kid was sort of like, I wouldn't do that shit. The story's not going to keep changing. And this is where it's like, you with me, it's like I'm trying to get pregnant. everything out exactly what he done last year. Did and you I'm get pregnant? Lying, so don't call me a liar. Because you wasn't there and you don't know what the shit I've fucking been through. And yes, I've been through abuse because I even got pictures of it. I even got fucking records of it. He fucking took me to the hospital, got my eyes stitched up, and then because he didn't want to see my male friend, yeah, because I said, no, I don't want you to see my male friend, he's saying, like, oh, you know, there's something going on between you two, this and that. Then next me and now it's like, oh, why he's here? Where is he here? Is he going? Is he going? I said, no. Like, what's the problem? So he got my, snatched my phone up my hand and he fucking threw it on the floor. It was full of fucking people. So I'm not fucking lying. Did you get pregnant, CT? Yes, I did. That's a hard subject that I had to go by. Yes, I did. My friend actually paid £500 so I can actually get my abortion pill to take it at home. £500 for an abortion pill? Literally, if you want it. It was private, it was through private, and I got the receipt to prove it. I never, that's why I never spoken about this subject at all. And my baby father doesn't even know about this subject because one, I just kept it in there because he will never believe me. Are you still with your baby father now? No. You do need to pay. I paid for it to get the next day because at the end of the day, when I found out, I wanted it for the next day. Like I paid through it private. I didn't get through it NHS at all. I got it through private and I got the receipt to prove it. So if I got the receipt to prove it, how can you guys tell me like that I'm lying? Look, um, people are going to have their opinions in the comments, you know, like try not to like take it to heart. Like there's, um, like you, you know what happened. He knows what happened and you might even both have different perspectives of it and then there might be like a third reality which is like actually the truth which is somewhere in between which is normally the case um i can tell you i can get my friend stormy to come up in the in this box as well and she can explain exactly what's going on because i kept I think her she was on his the- live yesterday wasn't she wasn't she in this box yesterday was she what did she say i'm pretty sure she was defending him get her in him Really? I think so. I'm pretty sure there was a stormy in there, but please get... Yeah, she was calling you a liar yesterday. She was, wasn't she? Guys, share the life to stormy, please. Share the life to stormy. 
I mean, can you can you get her in there, TT? Yeah, I will try and call her. I got a number. I will call her because I have been trying to call her. She called me. I haven't spoken to that girl till the time she called me, and that was two last week, two weeks ago. Last yeah. Week. Even give her a call quickly. Give her a call. Okay. So she says, We're gonna try our best to get to the bottom of this, guys. Um, trigger warning. Trigger warning. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that Stormy was up there yesterday, um, saying the maddest. I'm sorry that you're triggered, Carl. Guys, it is a triggering topic and maybe, you know, scroll on and find something a bit more lighthearted. Um, Cause I don't want no one to be triggered. He's not actually. Yeah. Um, Jacob, how can you confirm that Stormy is a liar? Uh, that's a shocking because I didn't even know she called me a liar. Oh, okay. Have you seen the man teeth? What man teeth? What's man teeth? Keep it real. Keep it real. You're always banned. I can't rise you up. Well, you can sit down, Penny Gift Door. Jacob, you know what? please stop joking I about actually... this topic. I actually could get my auntie involved, but the thing is, is like she is not into TikTok like this it's at all. Keep it real. You need another account to join people's boxes. I suggest you make one because you're always banned. Jade, I don't have another phone. It's broken, unfortunately. It's okay, Jacob. Oh, one second, guys. Let me let, let me connect to my um. I have thanks to you. Get in here then. All right, my phone is overheating, so you're currently in the freezer, guys, okay? I'm going to leave you in the freezer for a minute because my phone is overheating. Okay. Can you hear me? I really need to defrost my freezer, fam. And I like, look at it. It's like the fucking Antarctica, fam. <laughs> I am in Turkey, guys. It's 35 degrees outside. Yeah, you can join. You can join with no followers. Keep it real. C come in on it and I'm going to get you up to enough followers because I feel like you should, you should be part of a lot of these live streams because you always have so much to say. <laughs> Good morning, show. <sighs> Guys, if you are not happy about being in the freezer, gift me heavily so I can buy a brand new iPhone. I'm currently live streaming on an iPhone 10. I'm good, Jacob, thanks. I can't because it's cracked at the back, wee man. So if it gets water in the crack, it will shut down completely. And I still have three more days here. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not here to question anyone on their trauma, you know. Um, I just wanted to, like, put some of the statements that were made about you yesterday to it. Um, yes, and, and ha let you have your say on it. Um, I feel like there's so much more. So I'm definitely going to download that live stream today. And I'm going to focus on trying to clip the statements that he made to post them so that you can hear them. Because I, the phone is a struggle, that mum. Trust me. I've got an iPhone 13 plus here but when i got here it, it broke like within the first few days so i'm literally i'm lucky i had this iphone 10 otherwise i've been i've been fucked i've been fucked but yeah look here's my iphone i've had to put paper in the back let me show you what, 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 what i've done to it oh wow yeah, so it doesn't even charge anymore. The front's good. 
But yeah, the, the, it doesn't charge. That doesn't the charger bit doesn't work. So I was charging it on. Um, well, I didn't know she called me a liar. To be honest, because she was quick to phone my phone the other day and talk about her business to me, and it's so randomly. And then next net loud, it's like, you know, what I mean, she done this. So for the person who's actually been there through, <laughs> get, I was in after giving me a yesterday, yeah. Huh? I was in I was in Kobe Kane's live yesterday when he was discussing this, and he spoke with all of them people that he let in the box on the phone before he brought them in. Well, he hasn't spoken to my auntie because he doesn't even know my auntie. That's the one true thing. Right, Titi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you ten minutes, yeah, to go and get someone like these people and try and bring them into the box, yeah. My auntie is not going to come into the box. Oh, me, and and. I'm and not going to bring else. Stormy into the box. Like, at the end of the day, Stormy's not answering her phone. I'm not going to call this woman anymore. Like, if she wants to pop up and rise, she can pop up and rise. But her fucking subject will change when she sees me. So this is what I just don't understand. Okay. That I don't personally understand that. Okay. I well, I'm going to... I will show, I'll show you the receipt that I got the proof of the abortion pill. And um, I'll try and find the messages from me and Koba and actually show you that when he asked me to be his girlfriend, he switched on me. All right, Faz, I'm coming now. All right, Titi, you, you, you try and gather that up, gather that up, um, gather okay. up the cool. information. I'm going to just go live with my friend quickly because he's, he's asking. Right, and then um, I'm going to bring you back in in like, okay. I don't know, like 15 minutes. Yeah? All right, bye. Okay. Titi. Well, 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 guys. I don't know what's going on. We're, everyone's going to get a chance to to, to, to say their, their side, yeah? And we're just going to try and keep it chill. But in the meantime, smoke. I something about the same man. I tend <laughs> to Tazza. believe them. Tazza, we'll have Listen, that. Alicia. Yeah? Who's Alicia? Yeah. Is there someone here that I wasn't aware of? Oh, sorry. I might pronounce it a different way. Okay, that's fine. Everyone calls her Alicia. Don't worry, Becky. Alicia. Whatever you want to be fucking called. I want to be called what my mum named me, and that was Alicia. Oh, Alicia, then. I'm going to have that bit of respect for you. Obviously, you didn't have that respect for me last night when you started calling me out as a... Pick me gal. I'm not a pick me gal. Okay, back up, Dancer. Alicia, would you like to um, apologize for calling Becky a pick me girl? No, because I stand by it. Well, you, you stand by that. Her. What I'm going to stand by is what you go in everyone's boxes and you go, oh, yeah, but this person's this and this person's I've that. Got a you, you actually know nothing I've personally about them people <laughs> and you keep doing this. I have got Becky, a big opinion. And I also, if there's wrong ones on this app, I'll make sure everyone knows that they're wrong ones. But you were sat in a box with Millen yeah, yesterday. Someone, I didn't see the shit with you and Millen until you said to me yesterday that he had said that, Scotty. Okay. That's I saw the end of Millen's thing yesterday where he was talking mm-hmm. about something. Right, so, so for me, knowing somebody personally off of this app and I defended them, I'm a pick-me girl. You know the thing is though, like people want to know. No, 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 we're not going to do that. Oh, so we are doing that. <laughs> no, we are not people doing wanna that. People want to know about women's you experiences me as men without until even it's knowing brother, me. Cousin or no, you class me as something without even knowing me. You need to take a step back and relax yourself. Because um, I don't even I fucking see, I said it how I saw it. How did you see it? Because you're a pick me. And you're not? No. I'm okay. a girl's girl. You're a girl's girl? I'm Do you know what? I actually pick... advocate for girls as well. I don't think that's true, Becky. I advocate for girls also. Come and show me the truth where I don't advocate for the girls. I just don't think that's true when you're backing a man who's had accusations against him more than once by right. more than one woman. 
And I'm going to say this again to you. I know him personally. I know him in real life. Doesn't mean that people need we to be around each other multiple times. You do not know you him. You can't say that you knew someone personally, so it can't be true. Come on now. That's oh silly. my God, I know women that have slept with him. None of these women have ever actually said anything about him. That Otherwise, just I would draw him out. Listen, guys, I'm going to do a poll. Awesome. Guys, hold on. I'm going to do a poll. Smiley face if Becky's a pick me girl. Crying face if Alicia's a pick me girl. Who's a pick me girl, guys? Smiley um, face for Becky being a pick me girl. Crying face for Alicia being a pick me girl. Because other women haven't had that experience with him, it doesn't mean that the women that have said things are lying. <sighs> I've not said that they're lying. Well, you have because you're backing him, so you're calling them liars. No, I'm not. You definitely are. You don't know the conversations that happen off the app, yeah? No, but I heard the conversations that happened on the app. No, you heard half a conversation <laughs> and I you decided to said. jump in and then... Do you know what happened? Like, he's had some accusations thrown at the end of the day, Alicia. He's had, um, Alicia, he's had, a com you want to be he's had an accusation Alicia. thrown at him. So what he's decided to do is come on, get a couple of people in the box to give character witness, and they were giving different stories and they were saying different things. So one was saying, oh no, he never slept with her. The next was like, yeah, he did stick the bow around. What, like it was absolutely ridiculous. No, you didn't even watch it from the You're beginning, very then, obviously. Pitch. You did You're not watch from this. the beginning. I watched it. We were watching it. What, did you watch from the beginning, we yeah? We were watching it. We were watching people coming in, giving characters. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Bloody hell. Cobra's made that he slept with her. I just want to say, Becky can speak about her experiences with a person without necessarily calling everyone else a liar. She's allowed to come up and say, look, I've never witnessed this. I've never seen anything like this. I'm not calling people a liar who are coming out. I'm only saying what I see. Exactly. Yeah, that's fair, but it's still giving picnic. I've been around his presence <laughs> so morning. many times. Morning, He's Cameron. never, ever done anything like that to me. Look, I want to clear up some things as well, what he said about me yesterday. He's like, oh yeah, Kaza said I bought her alcohol. Yeah, the reason I said that is because everybody else was talking about things that they that he bought when, when they were there. So I just mentioned, Jay yeah, bought me alcohol when I was there. I didn't yeah. say that he had tried to do anything with me or anything of the sort. So don't try to put that on my name. Yeah, second of all. Third of all... I think that may have been, like, the way that it come across. I'm not going to be funny about well, that. I, yeah, but I, if I'm in the books of people that are saying things and I've said something, of course it's going to come, come yeah. across a certain type of way. Well, that, that doesn't mean that you need to try and draw me out. Don't try and draw me out. Um, like someone just said in the comments, Becky, just because it hasn't happened to you doesn't mean it hasn't happened to other others. I'm, and do you know what? I've actually sat here and I said... It, because it hasn't happened to me, I'm not going to discredit anybody that it might happen to. Look, and the reason, and the reason why I said yesterday that he, that cool, I understand what people are saying about weird vibes, is because yeah. some things that I wouldn't think are weird, that that about his character, that other people would probably think are weird, like the yeah. fact. Like Giza messaged me, and the fact that I that when I said to him, "Oh, because I used to obviously smoke green," and I said, "Where can I smoke?" And I asked him, "Could I smoke outside?" And he said, "No, s smoke upstairs in my bedroom." Like yeah. to Giza, that was weird. But to me, I didn't think that was weird, in it. Like I just went upstairs and smoked. But right, to no, Giza, no, I he thought that was weird. Can answer that one because obviously everyone knows that the shoe goes downstairs. The smell actually goes through to his next door neighbour, and the next door neighbour complains. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying. I didn't, I didn't find that weird, but to other people, yeah. they would find that weird. Do you get it? So I understand where other people are coming from when they say they find yeah. certain things weird. No, I understand. Do you know what I mean? So I don't understand why he's trying to... He's just trying to draw me out to get some sort of clout. Like, he had barely any viewers in there. He was trying his hardest to get as many people in there as possible, and it didn't work, so he was just trying to draw out everybody. I didn't say... Yesterday, when that girl said about the police and stuff, I actually questioned her, and not questioned her, because, you know, I'm not about to, to say that she's a liar, but I actually asked, like, the police won't say, oh, 
no, just go away. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why yeah. I question yeah. about it. So I don't want to hear that, oh, I'm just being horrible and one-sided. Like, I didn't do that. So just don't put that on me. Do you no, know and weird as well. the thing is, right, I only got up in Cobra's box. Obviously, I've known him a long time. I knew the backstory behind TT and Cobra. There was a lot more that needed to be said than what she actually said. But can, can, can I just say, guys, so TT came up this morning in my box. She said that they have never slept together. And then she said that they slept together once. And then she said that she got pregnant. TT's story is very inconsistent. Um, right, can we get TT in and out, guys? Everyone should like to TT. Get TT in and out. You know what's weird as well is you're sat there. I've got a like, phone number. You're sat there saying really, you're talking about really sensitive things and trying to clear your name of a really serious allegation. And then you're also like, you're promoting your single at the same time. Like, it's weird. For me. Anyway. And for, for Rich as well, for, for his cousin, like, I don't have no issue with them. Like, I actually kind of like Rich. Like, I don't have a problem with him. But for him to come up and be like, well, I was there. Nothing happened. I was there. You do you realise things can still happen when you're in the gaff? Just because you're in the house doesn't mean nothing can't happen. No, I understand that. Like, Listen, me and Rich, me and Rich do not get on. <laughs> that was the first time that we was, like, accommodating each other last night. Like, yeah, Rich, you're all right. Obviously, everybody can't jump to conclusions and say, mm -hmm. all right, Paul, well, this girl's telling the complete truth. But there's obviously truth, some sort of truth in what she's saying, or else why would she come up and just make up one big story? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's obviously some sort of truth in what she's saying. And it's, and Listen, it's about... it ain't a big story. Yes, she did go and stay with him. Um, guys, I would just like to show you all something that's completely irrelevant to the conversation but might make you laugh. That is um, AR tail line. <laughs> the f Scotty, what are these fingers? Why are they so short? Why are his fingers so short? <laughs> Why are his fingers so short? <laughs> that is clinging on for dear life. That is clinging on for dear life, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, I feel like I feel like people can't say, oh, this happened and this didn't happen. Like, mm -hmm. none of us were there. Do you know what I'm saying? None of us were in that room. None of us were there. We are, who are we to say, oh, yeah, that did happen or that didn't happen? Do you know what I mean? No, like, I actually understand that. I mean, I was in a domestic violence relationship for 13 years. And he done all sorts to me. At the end of the day, Koba did support me throughout that. But the worst thing, and you would know, especially through someone that's been through something like that, yeah? You would know the worst thing, the worst thing that can happen in that scenario is to have people constantly telling you it didn't happen and you're a liar, right? Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen, when my husband got put in fucking jail, he only got four months for what he done to me. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So, I mean, my thing is with Alicia, like she calling me a pick me girl. I've never been a pick me girl. I don't need nobody to validate me. Like Pokemon, of course, everybody can have their opinion, but who, but who are we to say yes, that did happen? No, that did not happen. Like, who are we? I've not actually said that that didn't happen to her. All I've actually turned around and said is. I don't think that Cobra would do that. But you didn't just say that, Becky. You were saying stuff like, well, he's never done that to me. Like, it was just, the whole thing's ridiculous. Like, all these people talking openly and happily about SA all over an app and people judging and women getting abuse or innocent men getting abuse. Like, it's crazy. 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 No. When I was in Cobra's box yesterday, you come and openly attacked me from out of nowhere. I didn't openly attack you. I went in to speak to him and you started talking to me and I called you a backup dancer and a pick me girl. Um, Basil yeah. didn't tell. Did Sorry, you see where, 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 where did that come from? Where did that actually come from? I wasn't because talking you don't to know you. me. You I don't know my backstory. You. you don't know nothing about me. I wasn't talking to you though, was I? I was talking to... But um, then you just said I home. called you a backup dancer and a no, pick me girl. I did. So, yeah, you spoke to me. That was the vibes it was given. Oh, the vibes. But then you spoke to me. 
Yes or no? Um, yes. I said to you that you are a backup dancer and a pick me girl. Like, that's pretty much what I said to you, and then I got booted. But I'm none of them things. I do not do this sort of shit. Okay, well, that's my opinion. I like to have my private life, and I'm, you know, I need to have that. Okay, that's fine, Becky. Um, is Basil Dintel still here? I want to know if he saw court the other day. Basil Dintel, rise up. That's what I mean to you. Like, people sat there in the box giving character witness for this. It's just insane. And it's not the first allegation that's been put out there. Like, Alicia, do you know what it is? It's the fact that... Come on, am I going to be the only girl up here and, like, say that, you know, Coburn never done that... No, no, no. It was just you was in the box at the time I went in, Becky. There was several women went in and men. Alicia, the fact is of the matter mm -hmm. is, Dad, that he just bring he just bring people into the boxes that are his friends. Do you get it? Mm. He didn't bring uh, when someone else came up and said something that, that that didn't agree with him. He dropped them automatically. That just yeah. makes someone look guilty. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if he's done it or not. Like. My I just want to ask, like, whose best friend as well jumps on a platform, does that, and not support their friend? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm that, that to me last night was staged. As I said to him when I jumped in his box, it just looks sus, and it does, it, it did look sus. Because I don't know any one of my best friends that would jump on a public platform while I just said that. If I had just said that, and not actually just come to my house and support me be my friend, speak to me about the situation. Do you know what it is as well? It's like the false information that's given out where someone said, oh, if it had happened, she would have been to the police. Why hasn't she been to the police? And things like, oh, I was in the house, so it definitely didn't happen. Like, it's crazy. And it's not, not Alicia, easy. Alicia, okay, about the police thing, yeah, it was a bit weird yesterday when she said she had been to the police and then they had said, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. Like, there's nothing we can do. Like, they don't just say that. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for me, that kind of... Well, I will speak on that because she left her partner. <laughs> she was in a refuge. She got kicked out. Cobra took her in. She had an Iva. No, but I mean, like, I mean, people giving no, out information. No, I'm just saying that she but... had an Ibra that was around her. So if he was so abusive and doing whatever to her, she could have told her Ibra. Do you know, the thing is, when there's allegations like this thrown around about anyone on this app, there's a lot of information given out that's not correct, like, oh, she would have gone to the police It was if it was true. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... People give up false like information. Oh, you don't act like that after that happens to you. You don't do this when that happens to you. Like false information, it pisses me off that people are just freely giving out information that's not true. And the fact that, that people are openly there speaking about her past DV situation. That's not that's not for anybody else to speak about but her. But it yeah, was no, so he was ripping so apart her character, saying, Oh, she couldn't look after her kids, she done this, she done that, like ripping apart her character. But you was happy to have her in your bed, so Listen, I knew stuff about her past. I never once brought up. No, about... not you, Becky. Hey, no. I have more respect for that. Do you know what I mean? I'm a 44-year-old woman. I will not bring up people's children and... Everyone follow me. This was about the characters that was going on. Yeah? I'll follow you, but you got to follow me back. Anyway, listen, I'm, I'm up here quickly because I'm so hungover, yeah? Can we have a recap from the start? Obviously, you know I know Cobra, but I was at a funeral yesterday and intoxicated after, so I've missed Angel, everything. get out of here. I've missed everything from well, start to finish. I've missed funny. everything. Becky, Angel. you're a pick-me. Alicia, you're a pick-me. Everybody's a pick-me. Hi, hi. I'm really joking. Yeah, <laughs> guys, give us give us a recap, please. Yeah, I'm going back into the comments. Scotty, I followed you now, mate. Yeah, I come you, down I to the court to cook you and Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> I will take you for a long walk. No problem. Scotty, can you give a recap because I'll be biased. Oh, right. You give a recap and Becky gives a recap. No, that that's, way we cover all bases. Give a recap. Listen. I don't want to get a banana, so I'm going to let you two do the recap here because I don't want to... No, I don't we want actually to want you to. Oh, you should pick it on me now. Get yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> get out immediately. Right, so basically, 
what, what I've seen, yeah, is I've seen Kovar do a live stream and make a, a video throwing Tommy under the bus when Tommy hasn't been convicted. Then, once he's done that, vic victims, alleged victims have come out speaking about Kovar. Koba then done a live stream yesterday to clear his name, but wouldn't allow anyone who had an opposing thought voice it about being muted or kicked. So we brought Koba into the TikTok High Court and for him to have his say. Um, since then, this morning, TT came into my live stream and completely contradicted everything that Koba said. Then these pick me girls. <laughs> me and Elisa. <laughs> All of these pick me decided to join my life stream and take not it me, over. Not me. Can we yeah, name a sure by pick me girls? Can we just point? add into no, that there, there has been allegations before and there has been movements before where people have thought, uh? So that's why I think the way I think. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Can I just say, I'm 50 and I just want to celebrate every day. Just, hey, Becky girl. <laughs> So just throw myself oh in my there because I'm like all about me. All right, Scotty, love. Big right. up you beautiful people in here. Just bring, bring some empathy. Bram, what do you want to say? Hello, happy high frequency. I'm a bit ADHD this morning, but are you all talking about last night and the shizzle that went down? I'm not a pick me MJ yeah. host. Can I just say as well, Scotty actually asked me to come into the box. So he is a pick me yeah. boy. Nobody's ever asked me my opinion, ever, and I'm I'm Cobra's mom. Can I have your opinion, please? Yes, can. I am a mum of two. I'm 50. I've got a 14 year old and a nine year old. I've known Cobra for a good three years, right? I went to Glasgow last Christmas. I've been on that. I have. No, you ain't known him for three years. Three years. Lying. Well, how long have I known him for exactly then? About 18 months. In three years. Well, it feels like three years. Isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> point being, I've <laughs> never seen Cole do anything predatory. I've never seen him do any of these things that everyone wants to talk about. And this app loves being toxic. And everybody loves calling everybody names and picking on everyone and calling yeah. everyone out. And what's the worst thing you can say to a man? Grape, pee. All those horrible, disgusting words that none of us want to listen to. I don't want to be around that. I firmly believe he's nothing to do with it. That's my personal opinion. Is is help young women who are music in music in a studio. I've not seen no evidence, and I've not seen him react like that around those people. I was at that party in Glasgow, physically at that party, sober. You think I would spend my time around a person like that when I've got kids? Do you think I'd even have anything hey, to do funny, with me? Funny. You know, you know who his fuck shy am when she was 18, yeah? And what you know yesterday, you know about? yesterday in the courtroom. Let me, let me finish. 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 You know, right? he you stated in front of a thousand people yesterday that he doesn't ask girls their age when he sleeps with them. So well, any man that, yeah. that lays down I with a woman, bro, oh, shut up and let me talk. Any man that invites a woman to their house. Invites a woman to the studio, invites a woman to a restaurant, a block party, anything. Any man that goes around females and doesn't ask their age is a predator and a danger to all young women on the app. Are you having a laugh? Because he never slept with Cheyenne when she was Yes, he 19. did sleep with Cheyenne when she was 19. And I chatted to Kipsy and I, ch I used to chat to Cheyenne. Oh, I know so all you the truth and I know the so ends and know everything, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Becky, I, know, I, that, I don't know everything, but I know that. I know that much. We saw the behaviours, Becky, of him when like younger girls have been around him. No, I think that's the guy said yesterday in the courtroom, I didn't ask age because I didn't intend to sleep with them. They were in your house. We never you even met Cheyenne back to your until house she was about 21. And I remember they was consuming loads of alcohol as well. Remember that? All these video shoots, it was just him and Cheyenne together, yeah? Remember that? He never so met Cheyenne until she was Cheyenne? 21. No, no, hey, Becky, I want to chat to Franny because she was just defending Cobra on a mad thing. It was Glasgow event and that wasn't Cheyenne. That, I've never met Cheyenne. I've never been out of Manchester. I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, as a fact, yeah, that they, they slept more than once together. And over, she's yeah. not the only girl. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me. I love how all of you seem to think you know everything, but yet no one knows anything apart from these people that are actually involved in it.
Exactly. No, no, I know what I just said. I exactly. know what I just said. Uh, listen, I, I hear what you're saying. I can't make a decision based on my experience, only my experience. And all I'm saying is when I was in Glasgow, that didn't happen in front of me with anybody around that situation. It was just no. an after party. Some adults at an after party. And it, it, it wasn't that fucking exciting. It was like something Deep. amazingly over the top. It was just chilling. It actually wasn't. It wasn't. So who's saying I'm waffling? You lot are obviously it's defending this predator. Let me follow you lot back. I, As I don't know, defend I'm pretty close to shy. I'm pretty close to kitchen. I don't defend So I know all the tea. And at the end I of the day, I have which I will not show. And this is yeah, what I'm saying. I've been plenty of nights with Kobe. Kobe Kane admitted it. Kobe Kane admitted it. Kobe Kane admitted it. Kobe Kane admitted that he slept with Shia. Me. Oh, me. Yes, man. What are you saying? Long time. This is an app, people. And real life is real life. And this yeah, app yeah, yeah, Come on, look there. at how many people. Yeah. I've never been around 551 people. I don't care. I don't clout or money or gifts. You I do just care, though, because life. you just came up to the box to defend a man. I came up to my friend Becky, actually. I'll tell you girl. why I came up, before you presume, actually. Thank you. I came up to say hello to Becky yeah, yeah. and say hello to Scotty. And I came into a box and said, good morning, because my energy is about being kind. I don't yeah. do any of this stuff you're talking about. It's, it's further away from me from anywhere. I don't even listen to all that drama in the in nasty words and yeah. sticks and stones. You came up to say hi to Becky and then she called you a liar. Mm. That's the yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You came up to just say that she's going to have a happy birthday. Oh, yeah, actually. I'm just celebrating being 50. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm up to explain to Scotty about last night and stuff. And then Alicia come in. So, I'm gonna do yeah, a poll. Yeah. I'm gonna do a poll, okay? Smiley face Becky's a pick me, crying face Alicia's a pick me. Who's a pick me, oh, guys? Scotty, can we just confirm something? You was a pick me. Hang on a sec, Scotty, can we just confirm something? Basil Dintel just said that I'm a liar. Am I a liar in regards to Basil Dintel? Tell, there is a screen recording of you saying that you were going to stalk her, but and I think you were saying it jokingly. And there's also a screenshot, isn't there? Uh, apparently, uh, this is all a legend, you know. You, he I saw think, it. He saw it. I, I think it in the car should come up and defend himself. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to drop out and get on with my housework and have a beautiful Saturday and go to prom. Have a nice day. Day. with some friends, right? Bye, friend. And all I'm saying to all of you, you should be kind to each other. Everyone's got a different opinion, and listen, I respect everybody's opinion. I don't want to be around any of that. Like, I'm not here for drama. I'm not. I'm just here for a good time, people. Have a good time. Oh, God bless you. Have an amazing Bye. Saturday, Freddie. Yeah, you too. Pick up your beautiful souls. Becky, I love you. Bye. Bye, yeah. <laughs> love. Bye. 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 Hey, Scotty. Oh. I was trying to get up yesterday, yeah? You see that rich kid guy? Yeah. He's just as bad as Cobra, bro. He's just as bad. And the day yeah, I mean, I'm not that, gonna, Cobra, this kid literally sat on a live stream yesterday and said, I'm not from the block, I'm from Essex. Cobra, Cobra weren't even chatting on Tommy too much, you know. It was mainly um, rich. It was mainly rich, like, Tommy's a this, Tommy's a Yeah, but that. look at the post, though, bro. Look at the post. I know, I saw that as well. I did see that. I did see that. Cobra came through him under the bus. Literally threw him under the bus. Is that and the post the, that he deleted? That, 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 that's where... That's where my problem is because you can't throw yeah. a man under the bus and then when all these allegations coming out about you have the energy that you had. CD London, I don't know what lies I'm spreading. Everything I've said is the truth. And if you, if, if you want, get shy in the box, get caught in the box. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me try and get Kyber in the box. He won't yeah, come. Last time I went on his live, because he knows I tracked to Shy and Kipsy, he knows I know everything. So when I went on his live, he blocked me, muted me straight away. Devin, we can hear you. It says you got bad signal, though. Yeah, Devin, you do have bad yeah, signal. Yeah, because I'm enjoying my holiday, but... Uh, well, I'm yeah. enjoying my holiday, technically, and my signal's okay. You hear me? I don't think your signal goes up and down on yeah, how much yeah, you're enjoying yeah, but, um, I mean, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> No, can you hear me now? Come in the box. Yeah, go, go, let, let, let Devin have his say because then he can okay. enjoy his holiday again. <laughs> go on, man. Devin's a crap guy, so oh. he's not even talking. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Hello. Pippa, would you like to speak? Because Devon's been awfully quiet. You know, I actually don't know what to say because I missed last night, actually. I was in bed. Okay, why did you request? <laughs> get out immediately. I want to get out. I don't mind. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I want to go with it. I'm going to go with the flow. <laughs> I'm joking, man. You say what you want to say. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm eavesdropping. I'm just listening. <laughs> okay. Listen from the comments. All right. Okay. I'm not reading that as well, actually. I'm a bit like... Okay. Okay. Bye, Papa. I did. I did. Well, jump with skirt. I mean, if you don't have anything to say, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just, I was going to try and like kind of elaborate when, from what I've heard, but. I've, okay, you go on, go on, go on. You can have your say. You can have your say. You I don't honestly have better go. <laughs> Sweet tea soon. Bye. <laughs> Guys, don't come up with nothing to say because it will be very silly. <laughs> okay, I'm better now. Can you hear me now? This feels good. Yes. yes. Um, it's such a delicate subject, yeah, that I think people have to be careful about what they're saying. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what I will say... So sorry, oh, shit, I'm on there. How do I get off of someone's line? Let me just wait for this woman. <laughs> Princess Jane, get out immediately. <laughs> what I will say is, yeah, there are, there are malicious people in the world that will say bad things on you, right, okay? But once is enough, and once will change your entire way that you you move as a man yeah so there's no excuse for continued amount of women to come up because if you actually have that thrown on you it's not a nice thing and it it affects you and you don't put yourself in them positions anymore that's the only thing i'm going to say like as as a man you learn and it actually makes you scared so it doesn't keep happening you get what i'm saying it, ch it changes you like Agreed. me personally, I, I didn't need to be I accused of it to know not to chill around certain people in certain situations. I was just raised right. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah no, I get what you're kids. saying, but some look, sometimes you're not you're not putting yourself in a position. Sometimes there is, you've got Gemzinos in the world, yeah, yeah. and mm. that will change your life. It doesn't. Yeah, Gemzino scares me. She's the only woman that's ever scared me. Yeah, but yeah. let's be honest, Devin. You people continue. decide to be around people like her. That is their own problem. I can't that's lie. What I'm if you're being around people like Gemma and something that's comes of it, that is your own problem you, you, definitely, you definitely need to hold some accountability but that doesn't make it right if it's lies i but mean for me if i was to let jim zeno around me that would be end of doesn't make it right but you should you should use your initiative and mm. use the brain that your mother gave you and be like okay cool this lady's tapped she does this she does that let me not put myself around her but some people will say oh She's got numbers. Let me put myself around her for clout. You're really I'm gonna just, put. You're really gonna, gonna put like, I'm gonna take, on the I'm line gonna take for clout. Numbers, Crazy. For clout. You know, she said a lot of stuff about people that ain't actually true. You know, the thing is, there are false allegations, as we yeah. were aware. But the the amount of false allegations compared to the amount of um, I agree, your yeah. essays massively. Like, if you look at statistics and things. It's a very yes. small proportion that is false allegations, um, but it's also a very small proportion, like in regards to rape cases, only 1% of um, people accused of that actually get convicted. It's 3%. Well, you know what else I'll add to that? You know what else I'll add to that? Well, people, gonna get to next it's year. Obviously, a lot of people are judging well, people's character. No. Sorry, I'll, I'll be very, very quick because I'm going back to my, my, my all-inclusive. Another, yeah. another thing, people are quick to, look, there are some horrible characters, but that doesn't mean that it hasn't happened also like just because somebody's a scummy human being doesn't mean that they can't be put in a in a horrible situation a life-changing situation as well i just want people to think about that mm. that's it yeah my thing was yeah. yeah look after all this is settled and the dust is clear say tommy does go to court and he gets found not guilty obviously i don't want to speak about people's business but Kazo, obviously you could probably like know more about the situation you know what i'm saying but Say if he gets away with it or whatever, he gets found not guilty, people are still going to have their opinion whether he did it or whether he didn't. Like so. in, my, in my personal experience, I had, which is near enough proof that it happened and he still got not guilty. So I don't believe whenever people, whenever people say, oh yeah, he got not guilty, which means he's not guilty. Yeah. Because that's crazy to me because in my personal experience, I had like literal proof oh. and he still got not guilty. Like not guilty can be. I'm not guilty can be that you was proved innocent, or there wasn't enough evidence, and you still did that shit. And that's the reality of a not guilty. 
Yeah, so this is the thing now. People are still going to have their opinion, isn't it? Even if Tommy says he doesn't get in trouble, everyone's still going to be like, raw. but you slept with bare young girls. If you go back, Shyam was a little girl when you met her, 16. He was like 20 something, bro, 24. But Pokemon, we've also got to talk about this, yeah? Like, look how many people on this app, yeah? Like, I don't think that I know of many male creators that haven't been accused of something. Like, how many out of these male creators have actually done this craziness that they're being accused of like like most male creators that i know on this app have been accused of something of the sort do you know yeah. what i'm saying so to, mean, to me it's like what's the odds of every single one of them being a wrong one do you know what i mean yeah. and what's well, the odds i'll be real men are club? scumbags isn't it I'll that's be real. actually Even very this true age, no i mean like this, this day and age people are accepting like 19 year olds and 30 year olds look at that look at a couple on the app yeah i'm not sure if you know them that keisha girl and the old yeah guy. that's for yeah, but that's good that's like grooming the girl was 15. Was grooming all right cool speaking. and this is this is accepted now by certain people and individuals this is getting more more this is becoming more common and more like popular as the years go on and bro, people with morals they don't stand by that bro that they don't stand by that if i see my man in the street i'll tell him you're disgusting you little pervert yeah, you but look at this, like, but look at this. Someone is even, like, Scotty, sorry to mention your situation, yeah? But people have even come out, like, that. not people. Someone has even said, like, Scotty has, has been someone in a DV relationship and he's been the perpetrator of DV, like, with no proof, no evidence, no nothing. They're just saying it. And then people's going to run with that. How many people are just going to run with things, just things being said? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that Cobra's innocent because you don't get accused many, many times and... and out of nowhere, yeah, I get it. It's just the fact that it's been more than one girl that said something, and I've heard stuff from like behind the scenes. Obviously, it's hearsay, and it's something that's been like things that have been yeah. said. So I don't, I wasn't there. I don't know if it's true, but like I said, I tend to like I'll always stand with someone who is saying they're a victim of something because I'd rather believe them and it turn out not to be true than not believe them and it turns out to be true. Yeah. And my thing is, as well, um, you, uh, defend COVID yourself, isn't it? you got to defend yourself. Well. If you're a man and someone's accusing I'm... you of these things, defend oh yourself. God. Don't hide, don't run away. It's just the way like, he, you got to defend yourself. And, the way he come on and defended himself was bizarre. Like, he was sat there bringing up people for character witness. And then yeah, was there was no defence. It was just, it was very, very bizarre to come on a live stream up. Like, That's if someone had said that about me, as a, if I was a man, I would have gone oh, yeah. to the police and been like, this 100%. is what said about me, what can I do about it? Because it's completely untrue. Obviously, people deal with things differently. So yeah, look at I, you I in the fucking yeah, comments. As, as someone who's had wild accusations of them, I would never go to the police and say, oh, what's this about me? Uh, Basil Dintel, how can I hate men? I've got two sons, I've got a father and I've got brothers. Don't say such ridiculous statements. Um, Alicia, that doesn't prove that you don't. I'm not saying you do, but that doesn't prove you don't. Stop sticking up for people who say they're going to stalk women, Scotty. I'm not! I do not! <laughs> Stop sticking up for people who look for deceased parents' names and then say them across the app. Alicia, I'm not sticking up for no one. I'm just saying your reasoning is, is like a sexual reason. It doesn't, like, that doesn't negate the fact that you might have learned to hate them since. I can't I'm lie, yeah. I, I have got my own little theory that Tommy's just literally at his yard chilling, just watching everyone basically run a fake narrative on him. Someone that, just that, said that I hate white men. That, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if Tommy's chilling with that girl in his house and they're just oh running the narrative. Oh my God, Alicia, do you? No, my dad's white. My children are white. My, my brothers are white. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was white. Right. What's the matter with you? Alicia loves me. <laughs> Alicia's in love with me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's just a ridiculous thing just because i like stand by women like i'm very much for women it doesn't mean i hate men no. i hate right. abusive men can you hear me i'm gonna Hello. say on this subject right yeah obviously i know him personally and whatnot i can't say if he's done anything yes or no all i can go off of is how he's been to me he's no never ever done anything derogatory towards me Becky, what do you think of that song that he made in regards to you know Loz the 21 year old who had twins and he made that song talking about people um how do I word this basically you're talking about, about the men, baby's men head yeah, no, on I, know, I know what you're getting at yeah what do um, you think of things like that because when I heard that I'm not a fan of Lodge however that's a young that girl who just has twin babies do you know um, what it is? It was a diss track. 
Have you seen it, Scotty? Yeah, but it's a diss track on like on. I don't know if it's music, it was a diss track no. on everyone. Someone yes. play it. Someone play it. Let me get my phone. Hang on. He, he, he basically disses Birdman a little bit as well, isn't he? He disses everyone. Hey, big up Birdman. All yeah, I'm no, gonna, all I'm gonna say is it's just yeah, it's horrible what he like, says, isn't it? It's not nice, isn't it? All I'm going to say, because it's just quick, is I've had, like, Rich on my Facebook for, like, six years, and he is just as bad. So if you have caught tonight, do not put him in the box, because he's going to back Cobra regardless, and he is just as bad. Like, his now baby mama is in her early 20s, and the girl he was dating last year that he got pregnant was also in her early 20s. Yeah. So like, this is the thing just now, as bad. This is the thing. People don't care about that no, no more. No, but early twenties, no, you can't worse, say that. Let's not talk about early twenties. Like your early twenties, you are an adult. You are. Yeah, a yeah. yeah woman. People don't care about that. Yeah, but that he was stuff. he was talking to her way before that. That's the thing. It's sad. It's yeah. It's a grooming thing, isn't it? What it's are a you talking thing. about? Do you right? I've got the song. Are you ready? Go on. Mute up. Is it Kipsy? Is it Polly? Is it Mally? No, that lasted long. I think she got. I think she might have got bananaed. Alicia, did you get a banana? Um, Becky, and uh, if you're wondering why Koba hasn't done any of these things to you, it's probably because he's not trying to get in your. You know what? Guys, please don't uh, report oh anyone. Oh my I'm god! I'm not saying that you are, but please don't report anyone, guys. Okay. That is so crazy. Me and him have just got a platonic yeah, relationship. Yeah, you can. You can be groomed at any any age, guys. Let's 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 put that let's, yeah, of let's course put you that can. out there. You can be groomed at any age. But if you're in your early twenties, you are an adult. Phenomenon. You can't use that for an example Pardon? because you are an adult. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not sitting here defending him because I don't Who know. Who actually that, just but... said Becky's on Cobra Kane's no, radar? No, I said I don't think you are on his radar. Basil no, I've known him too long. Right, are you ready? Alicia, don't slander Basil and tell. We don't know. Don't fucking talk about me like that. Scotty, I'm gonna fight you. I swear. That's crazy. Alicia, don't slander Basil and tell. Right, let's play this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Kipsy? Is it Pulley? Is it Right, is that? Uh, that sounded quite disrespectful to Birdman, even though you said don't disrespect Birdman, he's my brother. If he was really your brother, you wouldn't no, talk about it. I don't that think way. Birdman was very happy when it was brought out, but it's just weird to speak about newborn babies like that and a 21 year old Birdman listening. already heard the song before it was and, brought out. And, Birdman's ginger hair is nice. Birdman heard the song before it was brought out. Oh my god, I got a strike. <laughs> What's a strike? You know when you get the strikes MC, and then you get an Everybody thinks that they know everything when they actually know fuck all. Who knows fuck all? You didn't hear it. Yo. How are you? Is that shallow? I know nothing. Yeah. Apparently. Huh? Bro. Obviously, come on, bro. Hey, <laughs> everyone follow this guy. I was in jail with him, man. I think I was shallow. My brother. I thought it was you. Come on, bro. How are you? I'm good, bro. Outside. Bro, I'm inside right now, but outside usually. <laughs> What's the topic, bro? What's the topic, my bro? I, 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 I mute up. I'm going to leave you up here. Everyone follow my man. Get him to 800 followers so we can start going live together, man. He's on. I, I know you've already got it, bro. You've got bare followers, fam. <laughs> I'm getting up there, bro. I'm getting up. I, I shallow mute, mute up here, yeah? and then when, when, when you wanna, when, when you wanna like have your say, then I'll mute yourself and have your say. But hey, this guy is so sweaty, man. We like we was next door to each other in only. But right, carry on, guys. Yeah, can you all follow me, please? Because I'm nearly at 185k. Thank you. Okay, that's enough clout chasing for one life, guys. Let's get back to it. Scotty, you are the clout chaser, mate. That's the only reason we're here. I am the clout. Exactly. I didn't hear anything. That's the only reason that I'm here. You only have me in the box so you can clout chase. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, Kaz has got about a thousand views or something. Right, Kaz gets big views. She does. Me and Alicia, because we got a bit of beef from last night. Yeah. 
You two are the man. You two are the man. Hello's my pal. Pokemon. <laughs> I'll be honest, Pokemon, I expected you to sound a lot more squeaky than you do. I'll be honest. <laughs> I never never touch a book, my boy. <laughs> and Sean. Never done so well, my boy. <laughs> Sean. 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 We left. <laughs> right. So we were discussing the song, right? Oh, hey, look, Cobra, come up. Right, Elisa. Cobra, come up. Yeah. I want to put. I want to put. Cobra, come up. This with. Why won't he come up with you in the box? He avoids me at all costs, my boy, because he knows I got the receipts. He's here, bro. Even if he was to say, Kobe, you've got to close the app and come back. You've got to close the app and come back in, please. Oh, no, Bob. Alicia. That yeah. shows you, Pokemon. He's ready no, to come no, up no, with you. Guy, can you be quiet a minute, please? Watch this. Um. Okay. <laughs> Alicia, can we squash whatever we got going on? No, I'm happy to squash something, but I'll still give my opinion. No, and I'll give mine. But can, can you both agree that neither of you are pick me girls? <laughs> we are pick me girls. Scotty, the only pick me here is you. Exactly. Easy. You're just mad because I didn't pick you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I would me. not want to be told picked you by you him. <laughs> Alicia, you asked me to be your baby dad. Why are you lying? Alicia, if, wow. if you didn't ask me to be your next baby dad, then then be silent. Right, where's Cobra? He's the silent. He's coming. Where's Cobra, Becky? You tell us. He's here. He's here. He's here. There he is. Good morning, then. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. bro. Um, this ain't the courtroom, but this is just a quick question. Um, how 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 old was Shia when you put when you fucked her, bro? Um, need to use a different terminology. Made love. Say making love. Can we use nicer words? Sorry, can we normalise making love, guys? And not when, when me and Shia stepped in the same bed together. Well, we oh, you took three end. minutes to answer the question. Yeah. Oh, oh you didn't God. even let him answer you. He jumped down his throat mm. as soon as he went to let him answer you, Pokemon. Mute he up, boy. Hey, anyone head. who's not speaking, mute up, please. Because I'm not going to have this shouting over people shit. He was 21. Kobo, are you a man that you actually had sexual intercourse with Cheyenne? No, that's what we got to so say. I said she slept on the same bed with me when she was 21. We slept on the yeah. same bed together and Shia was 21. Cobra, 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 Cobra. No, just stop. saying that you was, just she was stop. like 18 or something. Because you know, you know I know. So do we have to go down that route? Do I have to get my old phone on charge? Pokemon, whatever your name is. If I did or if I didn't sleep with Shia, it's none of your business, bro. Shia is 21, she's an adult. She can do what she wants. I agree with Kobo on that part, that she's an adult. She's an adult, I do agree with 21 now, Kaza, 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 relax, because this don't help, this don't help, this don't help. When people like you are saying they're 20, they're 21. What are you talking about? You were saying that she was 18 when you were 21. She was, she was. That's a fucking lie. Do you know the thing is, Kobo, I understand. Everyone, wait, wait, wait. The wait, thing wait, is, wait, it wait. might be morally wrong, but legally it's not. So you can't really, like, even though morally it's not okay. I don't care. I, I don't care. It is. Listen, no, I, I don't care. care. I don't care you, about it. Actually, but when you people in, are, when, you but when, you, to when you've slept with multiple 18, 19 year olds and you're 40 year old, I said that he was not sleeping with an 18 year old. He I, was I one of them saying he was sleeping with an 18 year old. No, he fucking Listen, wasn't. Listen, Becky, do you have hey. a daughter? Hey, Stocky, do you have a daughter? Stop quiet, mate. No, but I have I, 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 Everyone mute up. Everyone mute up. Right. Yeah. No, 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 cool, no, no. Hold on, cool. hold on. Everyone mute up because everyone's been here done having their say on the man and he's just come in here. Fair play to him for even walking into a lives then. Let him say what he wants to say and then... Scotty, did, he, did well, you first, hear his answer first, to my question? Listen, bro, even if I did or I didn't... It's none of your business, bro. And that's how it stays. That's how it stands. But look, the bottom line I'm saying to you is you're, right, sitting, cool. here talking about, you're sitting here talking about all these 18-year-old, 19-year-old girls that you've been doing this with and that with. How can you even say that? You tell me one 18, 19-year-old girl that I've been doing this with. Cheyenne. Maisie, Are you saying that I've, that I've, that I've fucked Maisie? Bro, you no. have, who, how old was the girl you was with the other day in the studio? 
Oh my god! When, when you're with X Y, when you're with X Y, how old is that female? I do not think. I do not think that your baby mama is raising her child by herself. Fuck off, pipe. Hold on. When I was with XY level, it was just me and XY in the studio. I thought, from what I remember, was there a girl? Uh, oh yeah. Um, oh, you talking about fucking uh, Mel? You talking about Mel? Yeah, she's like thirty-one. Uh, bro, you're clutching at stores, bro. It's like you, you just listen to stores. You don't know me personally. You don't know anything about me, and you, you're just clutching at straws and all the TikTok rumors that's gone around. You don't know nothing. I think his point is that there's been several young women who could be put across as vulnerable who you've um, been around. Yeah, I've been around them, but if, if, if you don't know the full stories, it's everything. Like you've you've heard one or two or three different situations, and you've gone, "Well, oh my God, there's, there's at least three different situations." So, Coburn must be must be guilty at least because there's three different situations. So he's got to be guilty, right? That's how you. Don't... If more than one woman comes forward and says something, I think there's probably like there's not um, smoke without fire, and I think if more than one woman's come forward <clears> and said a similar thing. But you see, what what have they said? What, 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 have, what have people come forward and said about me? Apart from I've slept. Well, there was this thing yesterday. Yeah, there exactly. was questions in regards yesterday. to. There was questions you, in regards you, to Cheyenne. Um, you, you've got nothing to do with Cheyenne yesterday. I, I said to you yesterday, "Is this the first time you've had an allegation of this sort?" And you said no. Are you talking about the the, the, the the one with Shia, the the, the girl, the TT girl? I come into your box yesterday and I said, is this the first time you've had an allegation of this sort? And you said no. The TT girl, the same, exact same TT yeah, girl. Yeah, but we should be talking about the TT. Let me say something, please, guys. So basically, so basically, so basically the allegation that, that, that I got was from Jem Zeno. Jem Zeno was in a box one day on live claiming that I... That I Cheyenne woke up with my with my ting inside her, yeah. That's what Jem Zeno went and did and put that out there. And, I, and a lot of people was gullible and believed it. Obviously, the, the clever ones didn't believe it because I know that Jem Zeno was chat, chat shit. Um, this is Pokemon's backup account. I would appreciate not reporting me. Thank you. Cobra. That's, okay, that's where that little story right. Do you know what? I'm going to give him respect please, because please. he's bringing up the rumors. He's bringing up the rumours, isn't it? Which is that these Guys, things that he's saying is what I was about to say. So you know what I'm saying? Speak. Hey, Becky, shush. I, I Pokemon. Becky, I shush, Pokemon. Shush. Don't tell me shush. I'm just letting everyone know that this is my account in it, my backup in it, and stop reporting me. Thank you. Um, stop counting. Oh, yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> I do not need to oh clout chase, thank you. Um, sorry, I had 700,000 until recently, so no one can't talk about me like that because I was a cat. But let me say yeah, something, uh, yeah? Hey, so, hey, listen, can, can I say something? Kazo, uh, do, you know, do you know about that, um, about that TT? Because the way... She was talking on that live when I was watching the live. TT was in my live this morning, Cobra. That's what I want to that, say, what she said. Okay, what, the, so she, the was, she came into my she came into my box this morning and she said that you never dropped her stuff at the station. Uh, I mean, you dropped her stuff at the station. You never run it nowhere else. Well, that's that's a lie. But, but I'm not gonna lie. Her story was very inconsistent. But, at first, she said that you never slept together. Then you, she said you slept together once, and then she said that you made her pregnant. So her story was very inconsistent. Well, I'll be it, bro. I, I never made her pregnant. That's a lie. That's a lie too. Um, uh, listen, did she tell you? Uh, about the reason why we, about the reason why we split up, the reason why I, I kicked her yeah, out of my house. She said that you was very controlling. You was like, "Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you?" All the time, and she was already in the hospital, and it was nothing to do with her ex. He oh took her to the hospital. <laughs> Good. So, so she she basically lied about that. Then, so basically, what happened is she went. Uh, it was a weekend, and she said that she was going to see her friends uh, for the weekend. She's going to stay with her friend for the weekend, and then come back, and I can pick her up after whatever, whatever. So I said, "Yeah, cool." So I dropped her off. And then, two days later, I got a phone call from her uh, begging me to come and pick her up from the hospital. Yeah? She just got beaten up by, by her baby father, battered. She's got cuts and bruises all over her face, everything. She just got battered by her baby father. Now, her auntie was there as well, who turned up, and, and uh, one of her friends there called Stormzy. She was also there. She turned up as well. Now, I can get Stormzy in here any, at any point if I need to, to, to clarify what I'm saying, yeah? Because Stormzy was like one of her best friends back in the day, but because she pissed off Stormzy, Stormzy walked out and left left her because she's sick of her I, life. I lied, Cobra. Let me just tell you something, yeah? 
Stormy oh, lives that. all the way in Palmer, yeah? How the fuck yes, would yes, he yes, get? Yes, wait, 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 let me say uh, something. Cobra got yeah? Let me say something, right? Through uh, Cobra, come back on a different account. Through everything I suffered with, yeah? This is not what I want for clout. I kept my name quiet, yeah? I'm just a normal person, yeah? Basically, I didn't lie about anything. I gave him one consent, one consent, and it was my own stupid fault, and I own up to it, yeah? The other time, he asked to put drugs in fold, yes? Because he wanted to empty out himself, yes? So don't try it, Koiba, right? I went, I literally, um, you called me, and I went to my ex's house, yeah? Who is my fucking baby dad. Right now, I can't even see my daughter, yeah? So at the end of the day, I was gonna figure out how the fuck am I gonna see my own child, yeah? You asked to help me. I asked you to keep it as a friend zone, yeah? We did, you didn't want to keep it as a friend zone. You begged me as to be your girlfriend. I didn't want to be your girlfriend. Yeah, you push me and push me and push me and fucking push me over again. So I say fucking no when I say it's a fucking friendship. Yeah, one time I fucked up and then you've done whatever you want to do. Yeah, you don't understand. Yeah, at the end of the day, right? I asked you to help me because I was moving to places, to places, yeah? I came out from a woman's refuge because my ex-partner knew where I was, right? And then I left in Folkestone, then in a the hotel, right? I asked Kobe to help me. He offered as a friend, right? It was only a friend, yeah? A week going forward, right? I stayed at his again, right? Then he was like, then he was like oh, Leticia, let's go out. Let's go bowling. Let's do something together. Cool. But I do all of this for you. I do all of this for you and I don't get nothing in return. I do all of that for you, but I just don't get any return. So it's like, I was debating in my head, should I not, should I not, should I do it, should I do it? So then I did it. You understand what I mean? Right? To so shut up. That one consent and then he took it way too far out of his league. Yeah? This is not a, like, he doesn't even know I've been pregnant. Right? He didn't know that. Because I didn't want to fucking scar myself anymore. Okay? I've been through hard times last year. Hard fucking time. So don't fucking try and lie and cover everything up, Cobra, because at the end of the day, you made me suffer. You made me suffer. And my fucking baby died. So fuck you yeah, lot. I'm done. Fuck I'm done. Lot. Don't get upset on that. Hey, mute up for a minute. Don't get upset on that. Hey, Scotty, man. This is what I'm saying. Come back, Scotty, bro. What are you lot saying, bro? Nah, what do you I feel like reckon? I feel like Cobra needs to come up and answer to this because like, I, see, I, like, I don't, don't want to judge people, but I can hear how vulnerable she is in it as a as a as a as a female in it. Like you get, no, it? I, I can, can hear, hear that. It. I haven't even seen her. I don't, I don't think even know that what she, she looks could like, have bro. To be on with someone who she. She's on the spectrum, bro, 100% in it, not to be like, rude. She chose to come up. Not. She chose to no, come up. No, I know up. she did. I know she did, but you can hear the pain in her voice. Like it's just, it's not nice. It's not nice. I've got a question. In in Millen's live yesterday, she, she did say that she did say that thingy that he did pick her up from the hospital. Like, I remember her saying that in Millen's live. No, oh, he I took just... her to the hospital because she had like a bust up eye and stuff like that from her baby daddy. But how did he take her to the hospital then? Hot, you guys, if you can. He just he, he just got banned, guys. Listen, Cobra got banned. It came up at the top of my screen. He, he was banned. He, he did not. Now he, you're trying to say that he took her to the hospital. He's, Cobra's got a backup account. What is it? Is he in the chat? <laughs> you know what it's called? Because there's there's two. No, no. He he's, not cafe. he's not going to want to come back up. This girl's having to to. She's feeling like she has to prove herself to everyone. It's insane. It's just, it's just wild. Thank you for the heartbeats, guys. Becky, Trigger warning, Becky, guys. You've been awfully quiet, Becky, up there. Huh? You've, got, you've been a bit quiet. You've been a bit quiet since no, she's I was came on. Listening to what was going on. Corbin did it, man. Told you, she just confirmed what I said in the chat. She just said, so Becky, you've got that completely wrong, Becky. So obviously you're not a really reliable source because she just said the police took her to Dartford and then he picked her up from the hospital and he just said he picked her up from the hospital. But you're the only one that's saying that he dropped her off at the hospital. No, I'm saying that he was at the hospital with her. It's not bullshit. No person. No, you just said, you said that, that he dropped that her off. sexually assaulted. 
No I person's going to do that. that. Sure thing, okay. This is really sad to watch. And you can hear the pain in this young lady's voice. And uh, yes, Big Chaz, I think you're right. You can also hear the vulnerability of her and the fact that that vulnerability is, is there. A man as old as Cobra Kane, he would be able to to see that and work Cobra it to him. Cobra Kane's a 50-year-old man, almost. He shouldn't be around mm -hmm. little kids, little girls. And all you TikTokers entertain this type of people. Um, you entertain I'm just facilitating a platform for everyone to have their say on something well, that's already on the app. Not, no, not you, you don't need you, Scotty. You mean Scotty like the gifters people. and that, isn't it? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't expect Guys, her to come in the box. Can someone yeah. drop down so that Cobra can come back in, please? Can someone drop down? If someone can, can voluntarily drop down, then yeah, that'd be I'll, amazing. I'll if not, I'll have to pick someone. Oh, man, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here As we go. I do suggest, though, I do suggest parties. If if you're if you believe this happened to you, or you don't believe that the, someone you think that someone's falsely accusing you or something, please do go and inform the police oh, because the police this is going to ruin. Let me just speak. Let me just speak. Let me just speak one minute. Let me just speak one minute. Let me just speak one minute. Drop Becky. The police can't always help you. Remember that. Go to the police. The police may not be able to do anything. Exactly. No, of exactly. course, of course, listen of course listen. not. But Let if it happens again to somebody speak. else by the same person, person, they will have it on speak. record. Let so it's right. obviously speak. a good thing to do. As a man, shush, listen, man. I'm not going to argue Let with you, John. You speak. You speak. Listen, speaking listen. On your One at a time, guys. Right. On, on his police history. For right, Cobra's here. Let him be, please. Everyone mute up apart from Catherine. Everyone mute up apart from Catherine. I'm going to start kicking people. Everyone mute up apart from Catherine because she's just joined. Everyone else has had ample time to have their say. So let Catherine speak and then Cobra's going to speak afterwards. And I don't want anyone else to unmute themselves until them two things have happened, please. Thank you. Otherwise, you will be kicked. Thank you. I appreciate that, Scotty. Let me just tell you a little, little thing. Most women, most women, not all, most women don't come out and say they've been sexually assaulted. If nothing happened, yeah, sometimes it's consensual. It's consensual. I totally get. I totally get that. But then sometimes men take it too far. Then on the next one, <coughs> feel, feel it's feel it's necessary to do things to a woman which they don't want to do. For example, anal sex. Most women go through anal sex without being asked. And that is facts. Meaning that most women have been sexually assaulted and raped. Drop and come back, drop and come back, because you're listen, gonna get listen, listen, bananas. Listen, 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 all I'm basically saying is anybody that gets sexually assaulted, please go to the police. The police have a very, it's not the police's fault, it's the court's fault, because it's your word against theirs. But it will be on the police history, the intelligence for the police, if it occurs again, because most people have a pattern. And one other thing, Cobra, you're a big grown man. You should not be entertaining little fucking kids. 21, 24. These are young, vulnerable, especially on TikTok. There are a lot of women on TikTok are very vulnerable. Very vulnerable. And these big grown men can see that. You, you've had a life history. You're nearly, you're 50 years of age almost. You and you have the nerve to then disrespect Tommy. You done. <laughs> Who's in the same category? If you haven't or haven't done it, that girl on line TT is very distraught from something that's happened. And if you're saying there's no smoke without fire, there's something that's occurred. So just in life, sometimes be honest. Oh, well, if you if you knew who I was, you would know that I've always been honest. But you don't know me in it, so you can sit there and say what you like. But until you actually know me, you can't I'm say not, that. I'm not, listen to me. I'm not saying that you did it or you didn't do it. I wasn't there. And no one else was. All I'm basically saying is not a lot of people in life, especially when they're distraught like that, something must have happened. Something must have occurred. What, what, what type of abuse you did to her, something occurred. She's not just going to jump online. Why does, it have to be this? why does it have to be abuse that I did to her? You, you lot don't even, you lot don't know one thing, you lot don't realise, yeah, that this girl was in my life a year and a half ago. It was a year and a half ago when this apparently happened, what she's claiming, yeah? A year and a half ago. 
Why is she, what, 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 why does it take her so long that she could have fucking reported this from day one? Most people it, take but, 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 did, let me, this let me is fucked from you doing this to Tommy and you speaking out like this and holding live streams and but, posting but, this about Tommy. But, that has but, now ignited people to want to come out and speak about you. Like I don't care. I don't care what people want to want to do. <laughs> facts, facts are facts, yeah, and and stories are stories, and stories do cause cause a lot of drama. You get Vic me? Victims can come out thirty years later, bro. What do you mean? Because it took a year. Victims of R and things like that can come out 30, 20, 15 oh, years later, bro. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I hear what you're saying. What are you talking about? That's, that's not, that's not what, what, what my, my, the, the way I explained it, maybe I explained it wrong. But at the end of the day, yeah, she, she, she kept but coming said back. It's been a year and a half. Why yeah, is she talking yeah, about it now? Is and this, I just... Let me speak, bro. Oh, you have like, a yeah. conversation, bro. It works two ways. If you have a conversation... It works two ways, but I weren't talking to you. I was trying to speak and... and yeah, speak but I'm you talking to you, it. innit? I'm yeah, talking Pokemon, to you. Pokemon, I don't care Pokemon, Pokemon. Listen, stop. Pokemon. Just, 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 I'm not going to stay right, here right, and these guys right. are going to be ignorant, bro. Let him finish, bro. Go on. I, I let you lot talk, so let me yeah, talk. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Hey, no one unmute until I ask you to, otherwise I will kick you, okay? Go on. Just have your say. At the end of the day, none of you know this team, bro. Not one of you know who she is. Not one of you know her situation. Yeah, when I tried to question her, she wouldn't let me question her because she knows she can't answer the questions. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. The questions are: she's gone. She's when she when I picked her up from the um the hospital, it was because she got battered by her baby father. She's in this relationship with her baby father before she met me, and she said she wasn't with him anymore. She was single. All that. This is the reason why we were seeing each other. And we was having sex every day on a regular basis. She slept in my bed every day and we had sex every day. Yeah? She, she's claiming about, oh, she consented one time. She stayed in my house for two and a half weeks and you're telling me that we only had sex once? Like, come on. Like, you lot, you lot don't understand how this girl, how manipulative this girl is and how much she lies. Yeah? So when, when, we, went to, when we went to the hospital, she was cutted up, bruised up, everything. She had her auntie that came there as well and she had her mate Stormzy. Who, who, was all, who was her best friend at the time, who also came. And like I said, I can bring Stormzy up at any time and, and, and you can talk to Stormzy yourself. And Stormzy will tell you everything about the day, what happened and whatever. And uh, we was trying the hardest uh, not to let her talk to her baby father. Her baby father was still trying to ring her at the hospital and all that. And, and she was just being silly. Like she was going like she wanted to answer the call. Like she was being dumb. And I weren't sure whether she was being serious or whether she was being whatever. And it turned out she was being serious. Uh, she wanted to. She wanted to go and see him again. So basically, two days later, she lied to me again and said she'd go and see one of her other friends. And then she went to him again. And when I found out she went to him again straight after she'd just been put in hospital by him, I thought, yeah, this girl's got too many mental issues and too many problems for me. I've only just getting to know this girl. I didn't know this girl from Adam two two and a half weeks previous. Now I'm getting to see that she has got mental issues and she's got serious problems. What kind of woman would go running back to her man that's just put him in hospital? Just put her in hospital. Literally two days before, and she got running back to him again. So f after that moment, there, this was when I kicked her out. This is when I took all her stuff. Uh, I told her I'm going to put it at the train station, yeah, and I'm going to leave it at the train station at this time to make sure you're there at this time to, to collect your stuff. I gave her plenty of time to be at the train station to do it. She never turned up at the station. When I got there, uh, when she when, when the time came, she started talking about. I'm going to call the police and rah, 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 cause you're a... And I said, all right, call the police. I mean, uh, what are they going to do? I'm, I'm leaving your stuff here. What do you want me to do about it? I've, I've, I've made it clear. Your stuff's here. It's under the camera. Come and collect it. She wouldn't come and collect it. So I had no choice but to drop it off to one of her friends, uh, friend's houses or her friend's places or whatever it was. I can't remember where it was I dropped it off. But I, I ended up dropping it off somewhere else. I didn't leave it at the station in the end. Yeah, and she got her stuff back. She got all her stuff back. And after that, I never spoke to her again. And I didn't want nothing to do with her again. I wanted her out of my life completely. Can I just say something quick? I'm not going to lie. Can I just interrupt quick? I'm sorry. First of all, Kobo, you're an idiot. Let me tell you why. Who are you as a man, yeah? From yesterday, I've been wanting to talk to you. Who are you as a man trying to justify domestic violence? What, you think because people run back to their man after getting beat up that they're not vulnerable? You're a tramp. You, you hang around with underage girls, yeah? Damn. You can shut your mouth. Shut coming up in on a fucking shit. Shut up. Down, like you, let me talk. Becky, you shut your mouth. I want to speak. I want to speak. Shut up. Becky, Pokemon, both of you or you'll be kicked. 
Can I speak? I haven't said Let me just say what I'm saying and I'll go, yeah? Let me say what I'm saying. If you want a sensible conversation, then then Let me say what I'm saying. What the fuck? You're going to talk shit and call me all these names and shit like that that I'm not interested. I'm not interested in talking to you. Still to have say, but can I just say justice, justice for Paige's account? Because you're going to get the Wait, yeah. Paige will understand. Everyone knows Torian's voice. Listen, you Becky, don't I'm even talking, know him. Why are you coming for him? I've just come up. Why are you coming for him? And this woman's talking over me. Can you say she can speak? Becky, let her explain why. And then I'll give you the same respect and I'll listen to what you've got to say, Becky, yeah? Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, this man hangs around or has hanged around with vulnerable girls on multiple occasions. Come on, let's be real. He's promised Cheyenne a fucking record though and all these things. All these little things. What are you doing with, you're a big overgrown 40 something year old man. What is your business with little girls? You are not going nowhere with your music. You're not no music mogul. Stop chucking shit to the gallon. You're done at it. And your little cousin as well, Richard or whatever, stinking name is. You don't want to call vulnerable women. Actually. I do you know he beats Paige. and stuff like Paige. that? He beats when, all... When, his music shit. When did I ever, when, hey, Paige, when did I ever no, promise Cheyenne? He doesn't have to be on it on the music. A record deal? His beats when did get I ever fucking recognised. When promises to Cheyenne, like, for anything? What are you talking about, right? About the fucking story and coming in on top of the earth and running out. What's up, fuck? I've these people to do music. It's not like I'm chilling with them in the streets and... Can I ask you a question? All right, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. All right, let me ask you a question. Have you late... Have you had... Have you done any sexual activities with Cheyenne? If I had, it would be none of your business. All right, you have. And you know what's mad, yeah? If I had, it would be none of your business. I'm not even going to bait out what I know on here because you know what? It's not my trauma. But you see yeah. you, you're a disgusting man, you're a and predator. You see you, you're, and I you're hope one day, yeah, you know, I hope one day Cheyenne little, little will come and she'll talk her business of what you've done. But just know, Cobra Kane, I know what you've done to her, and you're a you trap. Talk, you, you are disgusting, you don't mate. Know, you don't don't make shit. me think of what you've done. Shit, you don't know what you're talking about. Are you not okay? Cobra, listen, 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 I'm not even a troll, but I promise you, I know what you've done to Cheyenne. I know what you've done to Cheyenne. I know what, I what you done to Cheyenne, and you what know what you done to what Cheyenne as well. But because what you know Cheyenne is vulnerable, and she won't come and talk and all these things, but I know yeah, what yeah. you've done, and you're a tramp, and yeah, Scott, yeah. you know, that's you. Yeah. If I wouldn't yeah. even, yeah. 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 I wouldn't yeah. even yeah. have this tramp on your platform. You know right. I wouldn't lie about but, nothing. So, so you know, I promise you, you know, know, know what I'm talking about. Though. This is the... I'm sorry, if that's your attitude, get out, man. Don't talk about bum me. I'm going to send bum you. What are you talking about? So everyone's talking at the same time. Who said bun you? I never said no bun you. Yeah, bun you. Bun you. Bun you. Why would I say bun you? you? I, I, I'm cool, saying, cool, cool. Yeah, Scotty, cool. listen, you know me for how long, yeah? You know I wouldn't chat shit about nothing. Promise you, this guy is no. disgusting, hey, listen, bro. I know, I know, listen, and I'm not even going to bait out Cheyenne's trauma, because it's not my fi- Listen. I'm not no, going to talk about it, about I'm telling you now, I know what you've done, Cobra. I know what you've done, I know what you've done, and you're disgusting. You're talking, you're talking about people and they ain't even here to back you. Becky, you old hag, yeah? He's not going to date all me and old hag, you don't know nothing about me. Shut up, Becky, shut up, man. Shut your fucking mouth. You sound like you're 70-something, bro. Shut up. Seriously. You sound like you're desperate, Cobra. Cobra, you're a tramp, you're a predator, and I know your business, and I promise you, I hope one day it comes. And I hope you? Cheyenne it comes and she talks about it. Little, I hope one day Cheyenne Listen comes to this girl. and she this talks about it. This girl's only got a fucking platform, girl. Hater. Hater. Oh, everyone's crazy. They do this and they do that. Hater, this Fuck isn't about you. This isn't about you. <laughs> do you think I want you <laughs> as an overgrown foot? Look at the hater. state of you. The hater. state of you, ugh. Look at the hate of that. Look, look, this is what they've done. She's a fucking bottom line. This is what they do. They try and manipulate the situation. When we're going out on a date, when we're going out on a date, Paige, come on, let's go, man. Go take your mum on a date, you pussy ass. Sounds like... Sounds like we're meant to be together. Don't so like take your mother mate. on a date. No one do no one do your mother on a date. You sound like my soulmate. I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my life. Listen, listen, listen. I need you in my life. Listen, listen, listen. We see you, yeah. Let me just say one thing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say one thing. I promise, and I'm gonna go. Yeah. You see you. You need to be on the sex offenders register, and you're a trap. Now go suck your mother. You dirty little predator. Just know, I know about you, and you know what? I'm gonna speak to Shay. Uh, I'm going to give her that piece of advice and I'm going to make sure be, be that quiet, she comes and she talks her business because you know what? The yeah. way you've silenced be, that girl, be, be quiet, I promise quiet, you, yeah? 
I promise you, I'm gonna do a trauma follow on you. He had to make you silence her. I promise you. You know what? Let me go call Shayad now. Thank you, baby. Go call her. Go call her. Thank you. Hey, Becky. Hey, Becky. Becky. Hey, 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 Becky. But you as a person, anyone as a person, well, so unless you're one of the two people in the world, you can't say categorically you know. You can only say, my opinion <laughs> is I don't yeah. think him to be like that. But you can't say you did. <laughs> that that didn't happen. You can't. And I can't no, say it did happen. That. The only people that know are the two people involved. Mm-hmm. Listen, I know, I know Cobra personally, we have personal you just want me to be guilty page that's what it is you just wish you know, it you know, restart 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 quick becky but both of you have to leave and come back because you both got violations now at this point yeah i know uh cobra you got one as well guys if anyone's doing the reporting thing yeah lift up Lift up, yeah, because you're not here watching it, and then you want to report it. It's like just scroll on if you don't like it. You see don't do the reporting thing. Do you see why I call Becky a backup dancer now? Alicia, she's not here to defend herself anymore. I'm sure no, man, her. it's Scotty. But you see what happened there, yeah? It started off with me and Cobra trying to have a civilized argument, one one at a time, talk, let him talk. Spy, he just waffled for about ten minutes about nothing. Basically, trying to look, oh, God, I didn't do nothing. It's not your business. Da, 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 bro, let's get to the facts, bro. How old was she? It was two years ago when you met her the first time. Look, look, yeah. what I like to do, yeah, is I like but to give anyway, people the platform yeah. to walk themselves into oblivion. Yeah, because the second you start cutting people and talking over them, you don't allow them to walk themselves into oblivion. People will trip up on their words. They will forget yeah, their own lies. And I like to watch that because I'm quite intelligent. 100, I can 100, utilize your, 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 your trip ups later on in the conversation to make you look like 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 what you are. And so mm. please allow people to have their says. I'm a smart guy, guys. You see me on the TikTok, I what you know. I walk yeah. people around all day. Let me do what I'm good at, but you've got to let people speak. You have to. That's no, true, man. <laughs> what? And anyone doing the reporting thing, honestly, like you need to, you need to seriously go and yeah, assess what you're doing. Oh, we're back. We're back, yeah. We're back. Well, I can, carry so, can I carry on? Because you finished your segment. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't um, really give a give a shit about what uh, people like Paige or everyone, anyone think about me. Uh, ch chilling around 21 year olds or 21 year olds. 19 year olds, bro. And you weren't chilling, bro. Hey guys, I'm gonna try and get everyone up. Yeah. So make sure you wait in the comment. I'm gonna try and get everyone up, okay? Hey, go hey, go. Do, do me a favor, yeah? Do me a favor, yeah? Let me speak and let me say what I'm saying. I'll just let you speak for 15 minutes and look what happens. My Pokemon, Pokemon, listen, I'm gonna mute you and you're not to unmute yourself. Anyone who unmutes themselves after I've muted them without being invited to will be kicked and won't be invited back on. Listen, okay? I'm coming down if you're not going to let me talk. This is dead, man. This is all dead. Go on. Right, right. Like, at the end of the day, like, these guys talking. Wait, the, guy, the guy's talking about 19 year olds and stuff like that. Like, can you give me a favor, yeah? Um, let me finish my story before. One 19 year old that was ever involved in my life or anything, and that was when I allowed Maisie to sleep on the bed next to me because I was being a gentleman. That was it. Never, no one put a finger on her. I've never hung around with Maisie, never chilled with her after that or before that. I mean, it was just that one time when I allowed her to sleep on the bed next to me. You lot have taken it into something else and trying to, to turn it into something else. The only other time you can say that I've chilled, chilled with someone young was Cheyenne, yeah, when she came to my studio and made music. Do you understand? But outside the studio, I've not, I'm not, I've not chilling with Cheyenne. Yeah, I might have gone into town with her to help her buy some stuff for the music video, but that was it. Came back and, and back to my studio. I've never chilled with Cheyenne or any of her friends outside the studio, like on a, on a regular basis or anything like that. It's only ever been to do with music. You lot just don't like the fact that, 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 that I'm good at making music and I can make music with anyone, any age. There shouldn't be any age on music. There should not be any age on that at all. Do you understand? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Go on, Shalom. Mm -hmm. Right. If you if you had a daughter and she was 18, 19, would you mind her going out with a 40, 50 year old man? 
Listen, that's, that's, that's not the case. That's not the case. That's not the case. Because I've got a daughter. I'm asking you a question that, um, what, how you that's think, not the, that's, what, that's not the case here, though. That's not, you're, you're, you're making out, making out like that. That's, 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 that's He's asking happened. you a question. Just answer the question, Koba. Just answer the question. question. If you had a daughter and she was 18 to 19 and you found out she was going out on dates with a 40 to 50 year old man, would you agree on it? Would you mind? That's all I'm asking. I might question it. Still, I might, I might question it. And, and, and on what, like, on what basis? This, what you this what you want. At the end of the day, if she wanted to do what she was doing, how could I stop her? I could try no, and I'm physically asking, stop her. You stop, I'm asking you, what do you think about it? Like, I, just you you I, I just told you what I think. What you question it? That the only thing you said was you question. It. Yeah, I would question it. I would probably question it and sure. give it, give it, give it basis, advice. What basis? On what basis? Do you you it? I don't have any children yet, so I, I, I haven't got a daughter. I can tell. I'm, I've never I been in that position. Bro. You understand? Bro, I can hundred uh, percent tell because I've yes, got a daughter yes. and it's really sign up with someone. Listen, it don't matter. Listen, if, if your daughter if your daughter's eighteen or above eighteen and she decides to go with a forty year old man, you can't yeah. do shit about it. You all you can do no, is moan. No, like, no, 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 there's no right, really right, this, right. I'm the Wait, law. Scott, let me like, <laughs> let me like Scott. Right, I understand what you're saying. You can't control kids when they get to a certain age because they get to a certain age, it's the law. But my point of the matter is, why I'm why not, you never answer the question and I know you don't have kids is because I do. And I'll question what 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 in, in God's mind is this man thinking? Like like it doesn't make no sense to me, my bro. So sorry to say. I'm, I've been quiet, I've been listening. Right? I understand this. Wait, 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 let me finish. Let me finish because I've been listening to you and I've been just sitting down and just, you know what I'm saying? I understand where you wait, wait, come on, please let me talk. I understand where you're coming from, but my point of the matter is it doesn't make no sense, bro. You and her don't have no thing in common. Like when I was that, hey, come on, use your head. You're trying to argue your point, but it doesn't make no sense, my bro. Come on. I'm seeing that. You're the only point. Wait, wait, wait. What is the point that I'm arguing? You're telling me I'm listening to you. The only what point that you made today, the only point you made, and I understood you, yeah, and I still kept my mouth quiet, is when you said that you took her stuff to the train station because you was hurt. I understand you was hurt for this girl, so you got upset. I understand that point. But you sleeping in a bed with an 18 to 19 year old girl at your age, I can tell you ain't got no kids, my bro, because, like, boy, I the reason why I'm keeping quiet is because I can't say what I want to no. say if, that, if I was in that predicament. Like Scott yeah. said, the law, you're, you're doing the same. You're doing the same as what everyone else on TikTok you're does. You're doing the same everything. as what everyone else on TikTok does. You're just jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah? That's what you're doing. Uh, wait, 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 listen, listen. You know when, I listen, listen, listen. Let me say that. Let me roll the only one was shy, that was it for me. When you said the only one. They don't make sense, bro. Let me tell you something, you're see Shallow, yeah? Content. Shallow's not on this TikTok thing, yeah? My man was in jail with me, and I'll tell you now, he's, he's so detached from this social media world, he don't care about the I'm clout, he don't care about this gifting, he probably don't even know what this gifting thing is. I'll be real with you. Shallow's not okay. like, he's not on this TikTok. I'm not in there talking about 18, throwing out the I'm not on that. I'm just there to make my point, innit? And my point is, if that was my daughter, bro, I don't know. made your point. You've made your point. Yeah. You've made it clear, bro. You've made your point right. clear, so you don't need to make I, I, it again. Shallow, let him answer. Let him answer. Go on, then. You get me? So at the end, end of the day, you're following the, the, the same thing as what everyone else follows on TikTok. You keep throwing out this 18-year-old, 19-year-old thing out there. Like, man chills with 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds on a regular basis, yeah? When have you ever, and anyone ever, seen me with an 18, 19-year-old, apart from that one time when I allowed Maisie to sleep on my bed? And you lot don't even realise, I didn't even know... Listen, let me finish. I didn't even know how, I didn't even know how old... I didn't even know how old Maisie was at the time when she slept on, on the bed next to me, yeah, with her fully, fully clothed, and I was fully clothed. All I did was allow her to sleep on the bed because she had nowhere to sleep, bro. She had nowhere to sleep. And I allowed her to sleep on the bed. Shy, shy slept, shy, I didn't have no say with Shy. Shy, shy slept on my bed without my, without, without my permission. She just, she just got on my bed hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is the Scotty Love Show, man. If I want to speak, I want to speak. So Shyan overtook and overpowered your house and your bed. 
Oh my god, this is bro. Bro, it was on live when Cheyenne slept in my bed, yeah. She was it was all on live. Me and Cheyenne, we, 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 we was having a, a, a Maggie competition. We was drinking, we was all Cobra, sorry. How many years ago was this? You're having Maggie no. drinking competition with girls at the age ago. of 20. Wait, how many years ago? ago? It was it was months Man. ago, bro. Like, what are you talking what? about? Years. It was months ago. It was last ago. year, last November, right? Oh no, that was 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 that's not our business, remember, Scotty? That's not our business, remember? Those of people in the house, they had a big after party and that, and that was it. You know what I mean? Like, it was all on live. Everyone saw it. And uh, you, lot, you lot just took it out of proportion and made it what it wasn't. Like, that's, not, that's on you lot, innit? And now you lot, are just, you lot are bringing out all these other stories and trying to make me like a wrong one. It's that simple. You know what I mean? I don't lie. I ain't got time to lie. I, I don't see the point in lying. I've always been a real... He's wrong. Right? He's wrong. I've never guys, 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 do me a favor. Do me a favor. I want, I want to hear from yeah, Kiki. Yeah, I ain't about to start lying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, I want to hear from Kiki and I want to hear from Ellis because they both joined the Hammers together. You don't like my morals. Yeah, that's me with two different people. I, I don't care what you think about me because I know, I know my own heart. It's that simple. Ah, right, cool. Um, Kiki, can you go first and then after we'll have Elise, please? He bounced, he bounced. He did from bounce. The, from the moment this man can't even acknowledge at his big age, because this man is the same age as me now, that being around 25, 26 year olds is something wrong with that. Like you are going to get nowhere with this man. Absolutely nowhere. There's something called a prefrontal cortex in your brain, right? That doesn't develop until you are 25, 24 to 26 is around the age that fully develops. That part of your brain is the part of your brain that allows you to make logical decisions. So if you are under 25, 26, you can't even make lo logical decisions fully by that time. And that's just a scientific fact. That's not opinion. That's not anything else. So the fact that, I mean, anybody in their 20s, I wouldn't want to be like running around with or sitting with. So how this man thinks it's normal, I have no idea. Every excuse he comes with shows nothing but ego and control, whether he's talking about his music, whether he's trying to shut people down, whether he says he's going to leave a box because he, he don't like what he's hearing or someone's making a point that he don't like. That is all controlling behavior. You cannot handle yourself as a big, groany, grown ass, hairy man that you have to start putting stipulations on people in order for you to get your point across. Okay, let's, let's not resort to, to, to personal insults, but whether he's hairy or not is irrelevant to the topic. I'd like to say one quick thing, 100% what, what you're saying, but um, on I've, I've got mentors where I mentor um, young people, like 26, 27 boys. So yeah. I understand yeah. that, but a, yeah. a 40 year old man with a 19 year old girl, that doesn't make no sense to me. Bro, and you're not having Maggie competitions as well, bro. Oh, Do you know what I'm saying? And let's have a Maggie can... competition in my bed. Listen, that, that sounds like a Trey Song song. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds like a Trey Song song. That's a bit bad. Sure, when it comes to all this yeah, stuff, when it comes to rape and it comes to SA, this is something that I've been supporting people with for the past 20 odd years or so. So I'm not new to hearing all these excuses or anything else. And if he wants to stick to facts, the facts were you were with young girls in your bed. Let's leave it at that because nobody else knows further than that. That girl that came up was absolutely distraught and she's got enough going on there and you knew she was vulnerable. There was no damn way. And he <laughs> wants to put facts on people being around you. He mentioned going back to, to abusers. On average, a DV victim go back to their abuser seven times before they leave. So you can't even be chucking stuff like that. When it comes to even cases, one in four, victim, one in four women are either hard, I'm trying to keep my words right, or SA. One in six children have experienced SA. One in 18 men have experienced um, rape. And then in terms of people, you know, six out of seven victims know their assailants. You can't come chat to me with any of your excuses because I will give you facts, not even opinions. So if you want to rise back up and have a conversation, however much it disgusts me to engage with people like you, I'm more than happy to do so. 
We need we need to do that, you know. We need to have these conversations. We can't be like, oh, this person's disgusting. So don't bring them up. We need to have these conversations because, at the very least, it might educate some people who, who might have found themselves in these situations. And hopefully, even if it just stops one person who's in the comments now of a young age to think, do you know what, that guy's forty, and yeah, it seems cool to go to his studio. It seems cool. I like I like to drink Maggie's with like. If it stops just one person from doing that, then it's a benefit, right? Um, so someone else can come up. So I'm sure you've got a whole load of people. Yeah, well, I'm going to try and get through everyone, guys. But um, thank you for muting up and, and allowing the people to speak. It will help us to get through everyone quicker, you know? Hey, just really quickly, because I know we, we hear this time and time again about going to the police. Now, listen, we all understand the benefits of what it can be going to the police. What we don't understand, I think Alicia mentioned this earlier, and there was a bit of a back and forth I heard in the box between a 1% and a 3%. Not that that makes any difference. 3% of, of cases will be arrested. So you'll get a charge on it. That's what the 3% is, people. It's less than 1% that actually get a conviction. And in order to get that conviction, you have to wait three to five years to get it to court on average right now. And then you're being re-traumatized, re-victimized, and the chances are you're getting nothing out of it anyway, let alone even the reasons they did some research recently and asked women why they didn't go to the police 40 percent said it was because of embarrassment 38 percent said they didn't think that the police would be able to help them 34 percent said it was just pure humiliation and that is before you go into that even being able to express when you look at what we call child essay victims which can fall into this group still most people do not speak out on their experience until they're 52 years old when it comes to grape people tend to speak out at least two years later, if not 20 years. So all this stuff about why people don't speak up and why people don't come forward, there are a hundred reasons I can give you that are not only my opinion, but also research and fact. So we need to stop chucking these narratives around. And Becky, women like you are more dangerous than men like them. Stop backing people you do not know. They stop being, these, and I'm going to use it, pick me, ride or dies that will do anything to be around someone that they think is just a slightly nice guy. But that's it. I'm gone. Thank you, Scotty. No, thank you for coming out, Kiki. Um, Elise, um, what would you like to say? Kiki smashed it. I agree with everything Kiki said. And there are sides to this, right? If you deep it, you've got the sides of the girls that there's always a story about how they're vulnerable. I went to help them. That's predatory behaviour. You're looking for vulnerable people to activate your own selfish gain. That's a predator. If you're going to keep doing these things over and over again, there's always a f***ing story. Like, if we can put that aside, now then you think about him. He's, if you just allow this man to speak, he will tell on himself. These types of people will, because they only know one thing. will tell on himself. I'm really, please come back, I'm really, because you're echoing. Me? Oh, it's like a programming. So they're like little robots, basically, from a child. What the lady was saying was correct about their brain developing later on in life and some men and women just don't quite get there so if you think about let's use Cheyenne as an example only because I don't really know too much about the other girls that they're talking about but the fact that there's more than one there's more than three there's more than two the girl that was crying on here earlier I put in the same category as Cheyenne so you're thinking about past trauma relationship status all of these sorts of things yeah the girls come in already with her own stuff he then swoops in oh I'm gonna help you I'm gonna save you now look, and then he said, I slept with her every day for two weeks. Well, even though she just got beat up by her baby daddy, you just had to go and drop this, that and the other. And then when he realised that she wasn't going to conform, he packed her shit and he dropped her stuff somewhere because he wanted nothing to do with it. Now he's got what he wanted out of it. He said himself he slept with her for two, for two, every day for two weeks. That's a bit weird. Why would you want to sleep with someone every day for two weeks if you've just known them unless you're a vulnerable girl? He's a predator, period. Sorry, I just had to tell, but yeah, at the end of the day, I just feel like there's two sides to it. There's the man doing the things and then there's the girls that he's attracting. Because you're not going to see him. Why is he never talking about this woman and how he's doing this? If he's doing all of this stuff, why does he need to lure in little girls? I'm going to help you make music. I'm going to help you do this. I'm going to help you do that. There's always a reason or a story behind how he gains something. Can I just ask, has he done any collabs with any female artists over the age of 30? No, that's my point, because no one over the age of 30 would work with him because they'd see his behaviour straight away because he's not gaining anything from it. Mm. There's behaviour that comes with it. Like the lady said before, it's a pattern. I think Alicia might have said it, but it's a patterning. It's a pattern of behaviour. I don't think it was Alicia, but either way, it's a pattern of behaviour that you, 
you do certain things. So in order to have depression, you have to tick certain boxes. In order to be have narcissistic personality disorder, you have to certain, tick certain boxes, isn't it? So I feel like with him, he ticks so many boxes with predator, um, predator behavior, but he doesn't even realize it. Because even when he's talking, he justifies everything he's saying. Even though that when he, in his own words, the whole of TikTok just jumps on a bandwagon. If there wasn't a bandwagon to jump on, we wouldn't be jumping on it. You're the one creating the stories. You're the one bringing out all this shit with all these little girls. And I say little girls because when you think about trauma, trauma can stay with you from if something happened to you at, at teenage, that can carry on until you're, you know, big 40-year-old 40, 40 woman. And then the trauma stays with you. So then you operate from that trauma. So you operate from that version of it. It even happens when people go to prison. Like it stunts your growth a little bit. You either grow from something from it or you stay there and you, and you grow from there. Does that make sense? It's that type of thing. But I feel like any traumatic experience that is going to be played on by any person, let alone a 40-year-old man, that says he's so woke and he gets everything and oh, we're all the ones getting it wrong. Why are we all wrong but you somehow can't see what we're saying? He doesn't even agree with some of the things that we say, which they, is weird. You're just trying to defend it all the time. Sorry. They all seem like really vulnerable um, as well, and girls. Like, they all come across vulnerable. They've all got some sort of traumatic backstory, mm. or like we've seen it play out on lives where they're quite obviously vulnerable. And I just, it's just like massive alarm bells from the first time something was said. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I asked him basically if he had any kids to ask and yeah. just mind frame, frame of thinking and stuff like that. Yeah. Wait, actually, could, uh, Princess Patricia, you've been set up here very um, quiet waiting. Can you go and then Pinky go, please? Um, in terms of speaking, not leave. Yeah, I just want to say that all these people in the comments agreeing with with what he's not. He's a nice person. How do you know him? You don't know him from Adam. All these people. I mean, I haven't seen many people agree with that he's a nice person, to be honest. But There's quite a, sure few, quite a few young girls on there. But Scotty, I want to say something to you. You are doing brilliant, sticking up for so many people on this app. I love watching you and I love Torian and Paige. You, you. you three are so good to putting people in their place. I, I mean, think, I'll be honest with you, I've, I've had two permanent bands in the last... I've had two permanent bands in the last two weeks and three in the last month and five permanent bands in the last 12 months. I've but always been doing They shouldn't. We should have more talks what you're doing and sticking up for people on this app. <laughs> it's a thankless job. Wrong. It's a thankless job, but someone's got to do it. And I, I do feel like I've always, I've, I've always tried to do this. You know, I've always tried to do it, but... And he uh, said he, he was on live, yeah, he was on live with um, Cheyenne all the time. He wasn't on live the whole time when they was, she was sleeping there, so how do we know what they were doing? It's disgusting. Well, thank you for having me and carry on doing all this. I'll join to more of your things. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Pinky, what would you like to say? Yeah, hi, Scotty. It's so nice to meet you. Pleasure um, mine. He's people that do what he's doing, he's trying to justify himself. How old is he? 44. 44 years old and he's having 20, 18 and 21 year olds around him. And he knew that girl had history and had problems, but he still had her in his bed. Yeah. Doesn't that say, oh, I'm 55. And I wouldn't go out and look for an 18, 20 year old boy. No. Do you understand what I'm saying? How bloody disgusting this man is. And by him coming on here, he's just trying to justify himself. Yeah, he I mean, from. It, 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 it's crazy when like, you know, you're, you're, you're saying you're a good guy because you're trying to help these people. Yeah. Um, the fact you're trying to help them, you are um, agreeing that they're vulnerable at the same time. So if you are helping these people and they're so vulnerable, why are you trying to cheat them? Well, what my answer is, why he's trying to do that, but then he's telling everyone, if you're helping them, you don't sleep with them. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's exactly my point, yeah. You if you, if you're really trying to help them. someone, then it's not a case of trying to get something in return. If you're a good person, then you do it with nothing um, in return. And if, if you're genuinely trying to help someone and they're vulnerable, even if they was to try and sleep with you, you'd be like, hold on a minute, you're not in the right frame of mind right now. So um, um, even if you wanted to, and even if the person wanted to, the fact you know that they're vulnerable, your morality should kick in. You should be like, do you know what? When you're okay, when this is all resolved, if you still feel the same, then whatever, whatever. But 
How old are you? Sorry if you don't mind me asking, Scotty. Sorry. I'm 37. I'm, not, I'm, I'm 37. 50, I'm 55, and I wouldn't even sleep with you. Oh, Pinky, I'm sorry, offended. Sorry, sorry. It's just a joke. I, I, I haven't given you the smoldy yet. Hold on. Oh, don't. <laughs> I'm an old lady to you, darling. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't tried to work my magic yet, Pinky. Don't write me off completely just yet. Hold on a minute. I'm a bit crusty, so he won't want me. <laughs> Can I just say something as well, like in regards to Rich? So Rich was um, shouting a lot about Tommy, which fair play, so he should. But there's, um, I saw a quote the other day, and I've said it a couple of times, that people want women to speak out on their trauma in regards to men until it's their brothers, uncles and dads. Then we're all liars, like... That just, that's what springs to mind when, when I see Rich. You're so, she's so right. Oh. Usually your brothers, cousins and dads and uncles or whatever anyway, just saying. Because usually these types of things, you don't just get access to these people unless you're searching them out, which means you're a predator. So they either have, they have close access to you, which is within the family, which is usually the way it goes, or... Um, it's the other way around and they go out searching for people that are vulnerable, like people like Koba. I, and you know what, when I was watching him, he always says, oh, people are clouting, people are jumping on the bandwagon. That's exactly, do you know how happy he was that he was rubbing his hands like a little perv when he was involved with Cheyenne? Does anyone remember how, how he was just thinking that he was running things and like trying to um, take over her live and like go on. We could see it all, but he can't see it himself. because he, he openly admitted in, because we do a TikTok high court, guys. Anyone who's not aware, we, me and Birdman, it's Birdman's court, I'm the prosecutor. So Birdman will invite people into the court. The, the audience will give the charges and I will cross-examine them on the charges. Um, we do that every night from 10, so I'm going to plug that. Make sure you follow this account, guys, because we're doing it on this account tonight. Um, but we had Cobra in the court last night and he openly admitted that he made this post and made a live stream throwing Tommy under the bus because it was for clout. He openly admitted it was for clout. I like Tommy. I think I like watching him. I did like watching him. Whatever's happened to him. I'm sure one day he'll come on here and explain. To we don't me. know. We don't know at the moment. You no, know, no, like no. there's an allegation. We like we. we uh, I don't even like speaking on it because no, for us to speak fair. on it and say he didn't do it could cause more trauma on the girl who maybe it did happen to. And if we sit on here and say he did do it and he didn't do it, that's life. Um, that, 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 that's the worst thing that you can throw on a man. That's so we the justice system to take his course on that. But yeah. even that might not even show us what really happened. So right now, when it comes to that, because it's an ongoing actual court case, I don't think we should even speak on it. Be yes. wrong. Unless you're directly involved. This is my have, thing, yeah, Scotty. This is my thing, on. yeah. They're not going to charge him unless there's enough evidence in it. So. He would, he would have got bail. If it was something that was just an accusation, there would have been suspicion. They would have gave him bail unless he's a threat to the public. Not necessarily because he was on tag. Well, now, when you're on tag, you will have tag. certain when, conditions. When was he on tag for? When was he on tag? He'd been on tag. He'd been on tag. And apparently he ripped his tag off. That's what I mean. There's so many things being said yeah, right yeah, now. Nah. Do you know what I mean? So we can't, like, it's just best to not speak on it until yeah, all the questions are out you. there. It's just best not to speak on it, you know? It's so a real life. Like, we, we do the TikTok court. We, 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 you know? we don't get involved in real life court cases. Well, hello, can I just say something? Scotty, I love watching you. I love watching Birdman. Alicia, you're a lovely girl. Paige and Tori, sorry. Oh, yeah. um, I don't think it's fair what you go through on here. I just want to say that. Sorry for changing the subject. Right. But at least you keep doing what you're doing because you're not wrong. And Tori and Paige and Scotty and Birdman, I like watching you. <laughs> Thanks, Pinky. It's nice to uh, have someone not say I'm the worst person on the app. Oh, you're not. You're <laughs> not. The problem is you're straightforward and people don't like straightforward people. But you are lovely, all of you. Thank you. Sorry, you can do. And you could drop me there. <laughs> okay, Why know. was he on time? Does anyone know? Sorry. I don't know. No one knows. No one knows. But no, 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 like the the on very thing, yeah, let, let, let's not speculate on something that is in the process of being um, resolved by, by the justice system. Yes. You could get um, rid of me now, Scott, eh? <laughs> 
Um, I, I feel really bad. Can you kick yourself, or do you want me no, to kick you? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay. I big up Pinky, guys. Big up Pinky, man. Um, right. <clears throat> I'm gonna get through everyone. <clears throat> if anyone wants to drop down, if anyone's um, I big up who? <laughs> if, if, if anyone's had to like, okay. everything they've had to say and is happy to drop, then um, please do. Otherwise, I will have to pick someone to pick. Well, I'm going to drop down and I'll, I'll jump up and make sure. Before you go, like, everyone light up Trevor real quick here. I know this man in the real life is probably the only person that you have that you ever see me interact with on here who I actually know and have spent time with him in real life. He's an absolute gentleman. And Trevor, me and you are going to talk because I feel like me and you should maybe do like a like a Jeremy Kyle type show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for having me, my bro, and keep up the good work, my bro, and take care of everybody else as well. Yeah, thanks, thanks bro. Man. Man. Bye, Trevor. Trevor, my little gun driller. Got your go now. Thank you for having me. That's okay. No problem. Thank you for joining. Can I bring you back to reality? What record label, what producer do you know that, that a legit works with, the age category that he works with, then goes out, <laughs> buys some alcohol and snowflake? Uh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, in this day and age, like, it, you don't, um, like, I don't understand, like, if you're trying to be this person producing music and make your make something for yourself you don't then go and have after parties with this these age categories and buy them alcohol like labels and producers nowadays like at his age do not do that like bringing like it back to the music industry is quite seedy from like stuff that has come out recently and like stuff i see on here i just feel like it's all quite seedy thank god i'm not in the music industry that's all i'm gonna say Guys, uh, guys, can everyone send a heart me if you're able to, please? Because I've only got 197 on my team and we've got a thousand people in here. Um, the math is not mapping on that. If you don't mind, guys, if you can't, no problem. But if you can heart me, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Neil. Steph, would you like to speak and then we'll have Tazza afterwards? Yeah, sure. So, I've, I mean, obviously, I don't know what's going on too much about the latest thing, but obviously, Shy's name getting mentioned all the time, and I'm, I've seen Shy about. But I can relate to Shy because I've got a daughter who's exact same age as her, um, and behaves the exact same. Behaves the exact same. And what people don't realise about Shy is that they think that she's doing it because she's a mad girl and all that sort of stuff. Shy's brain. Even though she's 21, she actually has a mentality of a 15-year-old. She acts like a 15-year-old girl. And that's where people take the piss. They take the absolute piss because they think, oh, but she's 21. But her head doesn't work like that. Her brain doesn't allow her to act like an adult and think like an adult. Because my daughter is the exact same. Uh, Taza, have you got anything to add? Um, yeah, the only thing I wanted to say was that around the circumstances, it's all very, very dodgy, like inviting someone who's obviously trying to escape from an abusive partner and then trying to, or like, you know, putting it on them. Um, you know, I could, I can definitely understand how that could make someone feel like, you know, if they really want um, to get away from this abusive partner they might feel obliged or pressured um otherwise they might feel kicked out not saying that that's what happened but this woman was obviously quite vulnerable and in fact she was only 24 as well um i'm 26 but um i remember when i was 24 and like i don't think um you are fully developed like other people were saying but yeah that was basically it Okay, Tessa, thank you. Um, Chevelle, are you still here? Would you like to um, add something to the conversation? I'm not going to lie. Um, I do want to add something to the conversation, but can you... Your, one of your mods muted me for promoting my business. I'm a single black mum, and I'm out here just trying to do greatness for me and my son. What, what, is, your business? Business? what is your business? I don't business? know why I've got muted. What is it? Oh, what did you say, Scotty? I've been quite okay. Okay, no I'll problem. Back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Close that up to the phone. Close that up to the phone. And I'll call you back. 
Listen, guys, I don't mind helping people out, you know, if people have got a business going on. Um, if anyone ever does, um, like, um, try to support a business in here and it turns out bad for you, then please come back and we will uh, make sure that it doesn't happen again. But, like, I'm all about supporting local businesses, all about supporting small businesses, especially single mums, man. Um, <coughs> yeah. Do a CLA and do a GoFundMe page. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm all for that, man. I'm all for that. Guys, I just wanted to say I'm going to head off now. So, Scotty, I appreciate you. Thanks for letting me come up and talk. Um, That's okay. Thank you for being patient. Also, guys, no, thank you as well. Like, I like how this runs. Like, when people just mute, it's much better because I, I don't yeah. really join them because people don't. I hate shout people shout. It gets too much in it when everyone's shouting over everybody. But um, yeah. I get it because I'm passionate myself. But it does get a yeah. bit. Hard. But I did want to say. Does... Just Sorry, go. Back. People like Koba exist, okay? They can only exist when there are vulnerable people. There are always going to be vulnerable people. So uh, like what Steph said, if this is the case, as, as individuals, we need to concentrate on our healing, recognize that we have attachment to our traumas, and just try and help each other as much as we can with education and knowledge and facts, rather than us all arguing and saying, you done this, I'm gonna get this person to prove it. And even trying to get Cheyenne to come on here and talk about what happened, though, just to prove somebody else's point, I don't think is really fair. I think we just need to realise that there are always going to be predators and there are always going to be vulnerable people. And those two things come hand in hand. So if we can arm ourselves with knowledge, that comes with power. Information is power. And then just stick together. Because then yeah, power in numbers, out. definitely. I agree with that as well. Yeah. Yeah. They can drown out the predators a little bit because they are very few and far between, but they exist and they only exist where there's vulnerable people. So yeah. I think I send everybody love. And um, hope you have a, an amazing weekend. Love you all. Big up. Thank you, guys. Yeah, um, right. There's no one else in the box right now, so we're gonna we're gonna let um, Chevelle come up and um, say her bit. Like I said, guys, I don't. Um, I'm I'm all about letting um, people promote their things on here. I'm not gonna charge a money gun like some people are saying in the comments. I do believe that that's what someone else on here does. I'm not here to try and charge people for promoting their thing. But guys, if you do have a bad experience with, with a business on here that you that you meet through the live, come back and we will raise awareness on that as well because I'm not here to, for people to be scammed at the same time. I'm not going to accuse no one of that and I'll let anyone come up and say it. But if you do have a bad experience with someone, make sure that you come back and tell us so that we can raise awareness on that. Um, but yeah, I'm not here for that. I don't want no money guns for that, guys. I don't want no money guns for that. Um, where is Chevelle? I can't see her in the request. So we give her a minute, um, guys. I'm just gonna like have my final word, like Jerry Springer used to. Big up, Jerry. Um, we need to um, raise awareness on people and situations. I <laughs> Reese wants money cuts. I uh, big up, big Reese, but the little one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, hold on, I think she's back now. No, she's not. Um, I just want to say, yeah, that when it comes to these kind of situations, there is power in numbers. Yeah, we do need to stick together. We um, shouldn't be throwing people under the bus through hearsay, but we should allow every side to have their say as well, yeah? So we will never silence one side of the argument in here. Everyone will be allowed to come up and have their say, and everyone's got to utilize their brains at the end of the day, you know? We've got to utilize our brains in these situations. But there are, there are more guests. Let me get these three up, and then I'm going to wait for Chevelle. And then, guys, I'm going to do some battles, right? So if everyone can... Um, Run me up in the battles if you're able later. I'd appreciate that. You don't have to give now. Just help. Finally. All right, Mister uh, Scotty Lom, how you doing? Hi, Lee. I, I take, are you still talking about this age gap thing? No, we're this not talking about age gap. gap. We're not talking about age gap, no. Uh, I thought you talking about like older guys go for way younger lasses, which I think's quite wrong. Yeah, what we're talking about here really is people abusing their power, putting themselves in, in positions of power. Um, Nicole, can you mute up please, my love? NJ, can you mute up as well, please? Because there's some rustling going on and it's a bit jarring. That's what I think I'm going to have to do it for you. Um, yeah, basically what we're talking about now is people putting themselves in positions of power like music producers, etc. Lee, it's actually you. I'm going to mute you as well. I'll unmute you afterwards. 
But yeah, we're talking about that really. Um, it's not necessarily about the age gap because you can have an age gap and you can have it with um, two people who have maturity and respect and it can work out very well. Um, but what we're talking about here is vulnerable people and um, people who put themselves in positions of power because when you're a music producer and people want to become artists, yeah, then you are essentially putting yourself as a as um as their as their boss, a position of power. So that's what we're talking about, Lee, not really the age gap in general. I agree with you. Look at Justin Bieber, for example. There was so much going on with Justin Bieber behind the the whole glam and the glitz that people weren't talking about that they've only just started talking about. There's a whole bunch of them in that industry, not just music producer, music produ producers, but within Hollywood, there's a lot of that going on, and it's worrying. Yeah, it's, from, uh, the, it's, from, it's, from, it's from, from Satan, it's from the devil himself, that industry. Macaulay Culkin, you look at him, you look at Lindsay Lohan, and they've all had some sort of drugs problem later on down the line. They've had uh, been in rehab and they've had all sorts of issues and problems because they were groomed by an industry that basically wants to get them as young as possible. So they appear to appeal to mass audiences and they can basically just sell their souls. And there is something really dark and sinister behind it. Yeah. Really it is, dark it's and sinister. The work of the devil. It is the work of the devil, I have no doubts. Yeah, and the fact that their parents let them do it is absolutely disgusting as well. These parents are absolutely shocking. Yeah. I you mean, people, I mean, I would, people, yeah, I'm sorry, you're going to say. Yeah, people will, um, <coughs> money, money is the root of all evil, right? And some people will allow themselves to be put in, um, or, or their family members or loved ones or friends be put in horrible situations because there's a financial benefit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see money as a comfortable way of life, as success, as a, a, a value of my success as a human being and where I've got in my life. Like, um, I, I, I make quite good money, so... You know, I can I mean, pass over what I was and other people, but that type of money that they're talking about is devil money. That's devil money. That's money you know selling like, soul, you know? We, 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 do you know what it is? You see money, yeah? Money is an easy way for us to assess someone's success, but money does not make you successful. You have all the money. Well, you yeah. can have all the money in the world, but no wife, no kids, no legacy, no friends, and you're not successful in my opinion. You could be like very out of shape, very weak physically, like have no one around you, but have all the money in the world. To me, you're not successful. Success, but that's an easy yeah. metric for us to measure people's success and, and make comparisons. But that is not a success, in my opinion. I actually agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Scotty. NJ. It took you so long to get me up, bro. You said bun me in the chat. You're lucky you're even here. Bro, <laughs> chill yourself. Are you, are you that sensitive, bro? I'm I am dancer, I'm bro. a sensitive soul. Yeah. To be fair, you don't really know me like that, and it's so you wouldn't know whether I'm. I'm only joking. But I, I, had you up, I, I had you up once before. I did have you up once before today. This yeah, is yeah, thanks yeah. you've just mentioned. That's what I'm saying. I came in quickly and dropped down on it because I'm very uh, what's the word vulnerable today. But listen, man, I go on this platform, yeah. So I feel like when certain things were being said, I wanted to ask him a few questions on it because when they was in the bed and they was talking and they, basically they created a scenario online acting like they'd done something in it. But he was adamant that they definitely never done anything. But my thing is, and what I keep hearing and what I'm struggling with is I never done it, but if I did, What's it got to do with you? And my thing is like, yo, if somebody asked me that question, I'm just gonna be like, no, I never done it, and that's it. But by saying, but what if I did? It leaves it open to me. It's giving guilt, and it you get me. And 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 I'm on this app going against guys that prey against young girls because in my real life, that is what I do. Any I I work with the young people. I have to hear certain cases. <laughs> And it irks me when I come on the app and sees it, it triggers me. That's why I talk out. So I don't want to be one of those guys that if I'm out here doing work and then putting myself around people that are actually that way inclined as well, that don't sit well with me, you get me? That's yeah. why I wanted to reach up and say to him, bro, from a consumer and watching in, I don't like what I'm hearing in it. It's not a joke in it, you get me? And regardless if you say, oh, she's 20, she's an adult, like Kiki said, they're not adults. I work with these kids of them ages, man. They're not adults, man. Their mindset is still young. And if you have life experience and if you're a big grown ass man, guide them in the good way. Like, 
say to them like, yo, listen, obviously come to this. Like I've done studio sessions with young people. Do you honestly think like I'm going to allow them to come back and, and come and chill in my bed because they've had a little bit to drink? Don't look no. good, does it? Do you know what I'm saying? I love playing a drinking game with Maggie's. That's mad. How could you play a drinking game with Maggie's with someone who's like half your age and that you have now put yourself in a position of authority over? That's crazy. It's what I'm saying. Obviously, I went off and I watched that video. It's a big 15 to, to I don't know, it's a half an hour video, isn't it? Someone did send it me, but I was at the funeral yesterday. And I was like, oh, freaking hell, I can't watch this. So I went back and watched it. <sighs> I don't know, man. I'd have to see him and her speaking together in it, but I don't really trust Milan. I think that... Uh, no one trusts Milan. Listen, Milan and that corrupt ex fed that he hangs around with have basically said that there's a file on DV for me but won't bring it to light. And that... Um and that I've, there's messages of me messaging a 15 year old I'm not bring nothing to light I encourage anyone who has any evidence against me on either of them files to bring it to light there is none they lie on the internet against people that they don't like to try and drag them down so Millen and that crap are both the same they're wrong so this is the thing bro when people are trying to run a segment on somebody like his stage it loses its it loses its power no credibility you've got no credibility the, the guy none at all so I suggest anyone who does have anything they want to bring to light, don't go and put yourself with someone so incredible, even if there's a couple of hundred people in there. I'm always here. I'll always open my boxes to anyone. But when you start to link yourselves with people like um, Milan, you lose all credibility. You do. Mm, but even though, like, Koba says that, you know, he's got a thick skin and that, I do believe all the comments, Koba Kelly, all that kind of stuff, it, it is affecting him. It is affecting him mentally, but why? I don't know, man. I want I want to see them two both on the stage and have a conversation with people around that can kind of conduct it because the last thing I want is that girl to feel like she goes on the stage and she's being silenced or she's being overpowered by men. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It needs to be conducted right. But did she go to the police? I don't understand. Like She did go to the police. <coughs> she, um, TT just said she did, if that's the one that we were talking about. Um... Oh, okay. already come I up had TT up this morning and her story was very, very inconsistent. One minute she said that they never slept together, then she said they slept together once, then she was pregnant by him. Her story was very, very inconsistent. Nobody is going to listen to you when you threatened a woman last night. Listen, yeah, yeah, I'll do it again. Delusive Angie, if you think that you and your cult is going to bully me, like, I'm the wrong one because yeah, I've just got they've this. They've been trying to bully me as well, but, but at the same time, we don't, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't threaten them with physical violence if that was the threat. It wasn't we don't, with, <laughs> mate, with physical. I don't know what it is, but I'm just saying. We don't, we don't, we don't threaten them. These with idiots violence. in here, man. They chat pop, man. No, you just said you would again. <laughs> I don't know. But, but, but what was the threat? The threat was <laughs> try and silence me, try and bully me on the app, and I'm the wrong one because I yeah. said that she will crack before I will crack. That is, that is facts. I'm telling you that now. And yeah. she wants to play the victim after she bullies people time and time and time and time again. Like, I don't care. I don't care, bro. I really don't care. I was in the chat. Put them on for you, Paige. Do it. Yeah. Right, Chevelle, would you like to um, um, unmute and um, give yourself a little promo? Oh, thank you. Um, so, guys, um, my website is www.certainforsure.co.uk. Um, and what I do sell over there are bonnets, not bonnets, because we're not regular degglers. Um, bonnets, do rags for men, let me show you. Mummy and me, uh, bonnets as well for you and your children. Hold on, let me get the pictures. I've got this one that's just come out, this bonnet that's just come out. It says bonbonards, okay, for my Jamaicans. All right, um, the... When you check out the promo code to get 30% off is Kaka, K-A-K-A. -A. What do you want to say, Scotty? No, that's oh, fine. I like, that. like I said, um, I'm sorry about muting in, 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 the, in the comments, but um, they like my, my moderators, like they, um, no, listen, I will never take payment for any promo and I don't even want people to send me free shit. If I like something, I'll go and buy two of them. Yeah, I'm all about supporting small businesses. Anyone who asks you for free stuff, they are not there to support your thing. They're trying to run up their thing, and I'm, I'm alhamdulillah, God has facilitated a nice life for me where I don't need to um, to take money from small businesses. Right, um, and this is obviously the do rag for men. Something different, not the strings where you have to, you know, some people when they're tying up their do rags might get agitated, car takes too long. Here's a new style 
okay something different something i haven't seen before boom bam boom buckle and we're out the door um so that one comes in khaki it also comes in black and it comes in a royal blue i also because i'm trying to do something where i'm in including everybody and not excluding i've got um hijab caps so to put under the hijabs for the ladies okay and the material is chiffon so people have been you know um letting me know that those that do wear hijabs the material that they have the cotton material is stressing their hairline they need something that can protect the hairline and they can still you know um wear their hijabs without their hairline being stressed so we have that as well um what else have i got the mummy and me collection oh wait another bonnet it says that is it on it can't see it but it's it's yeah never mind um but check out my website you can see all of my products on there guys just a quick a quick promo um a little ad break because i'm gonna sit on over here chat off in a remote long time um here's another one okay for my you know my princesses okay <laughs> the little bunny you. for the kids um wait 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 i need to show you the mummy and me collection this is actually my favorite color from the mummy and me collection um it's reversible bunny so you can wear it on both sides green and black all right guys the website is certain for sure that code that uk remember when you check out use code kaka k-a-k-a K -A, K -A, to get 30 percent off and that's throughout the throughout the um website that's on every product it doesn't matter what you buy 30 percent off All right let me show you it again now we have this one bombonat what will land well on there hold on see it's yeah bombonat yeah um juicy mm -hmm. pieces you wrote that a few times you can be white and wear a hijab so i don't know why, why you're trying to like listen like let her do a promo right stop spamming up that comment well and then there are a lot of people that have you know be on the app saying i can't believe it that started with me and this is the i can't believe it bonnies here's the website certain oh, for sure link in bio link in bio everyone yes and the link is also in my bio thank you becky um so yes get no your right, i girls, can't I believe you it. back <laughs> thank you get your i can't believe it bonnets they come in black they come in gray and they also come in royal blue guys okay get the bonnets get the bonnets not bonnets not bonnets because we're not regular deglers we wear bonnets because mm -hmm. we keep seeing very demure yeah, very you. Cute, cute, <laughs> she's <good>. demure <laughs> <laughs> right i think we've got one more person to go up jess right jess we're gonna let you have your say and then we're gonna run through a last final word from whoever wants to and then we're gonna get into some battles because i need to get paid for my time guys okay where's nj <laughs> I, I wanted to speak to nj um okay nj becky with the good hit what's up Hey, you're right. We ain't spoke for a minute. No, Shimo, you can leave a picture up. I'll leave you on the big screen. You can leave a picture up, but, but keep yourself on mute. <laughs> Love that. Okay. I'm just, I'm just rotating, but I'm gonna stay on mute. I'm just rotating the pictures. No. <laughs> What's up, Becky? Ah, uh, you're right. We ain't yeah. spoke for a minute, you know. Oh, no, no, no. Where you been? Oh, um, in Birdman's life. Oh, uh, don't do that. <laughs> Oh, don't leave my man alone, you. Oh my uh, god. Scotty, why can't nobody stand on their own? You can't but leave, leave my man alone. Don't need anybody backing you me. You have no bad man on my own. Here, okay. Stand on your own, brother. Up, nah, I don't have no issue with him, but it's mad though, man. Why do people I just actually said don't do that? Me and NJ have been doing this for like three years. Why do people keep saying that? Why do people Yeah, but on the app, you don't know him in real life. It could be a waste, man. You don't know him in real life. Mm. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let me just say one thing because people are in the comments and saying, actually slandering lovely. my name, slandering my good name on the app. So basically, last night, yeah, I scrolled through Delusive Angie's live. And oh, there was God, a, there why was are you guy, in there? He's, he's on the For You page, up, mate. He's on the For You page. No, but, mm -hmm. yeah, I know she does. Listen, yeah, so I scrolled through and there was a guy on there that was talking about the government and was basically like having a real in-depth conversation. And it was it was actually a good live. Like I, I thought, oh, let me hear what he's got to say. And yeah. all I said to her was like, you know what, Ange, if you conducted your stages like this, 
Like, I feel like more people would like like you. I can't move to, on, the, on those kind of terms. She just called out my name. NJ Host, don't tell me how to run my effing platform. I was like, freaking hell, love. I wasn't even being horrible. Do you know what I'm saying? And then she rose me up. We had a bit of a back and forth. Then she kept muting me, kept silencing me. And then I said to her, like, yo, listen, I'm not the one, you know, because I'm like, listen, if I have a vendetta against someone like Angie, I'll, I'll probably, I won't stop in it. I can yeah. be a Torian and people ain't seen that side against of me, you know what I mean? Like, um, no, but I'm saying I'll, AJ, I, I, I can keep going and going and going, and going 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 if I really want to be that person. So that's what I'm saying. AJ's a fucking troll. <laughs> yeah, when I want, I can be a troll. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep going and going and going. Okay, she's got menopause. I've got many things. We all have many things. That doesn't mean <laughs> Why are you right talking, about, talking about, about, about menopause? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You realise how old I am? Why are you talking about menopause? The white people no, say she's got menopause, Sarah. <laughs> I ain't even bombed one. Well. If wife is, is all going to get menopause, that means that every single woman I come, come against, when they come to a certain age, I mm -hmm. must be quiet because she's got menopause. Nah. Bruh. Come That's on, guys. crazy. I just right. say, what is it? It's, uh, it's, what is, what do they say in the hood? It's, it's lick for lick, and it? If someone says something Kiki, to me, you have to expect something off. back. You get me? What about that? What was that, Becky? Uh, someone Becky. in the comments. Becky, oh. please don't tell people to F off. <laughs> Kiki, <laughs> uh, well, Becky, listen though, Becky, with that situation though, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be real. It doesn't sit well with me when he's... No, so, I know, like me. Nah, but, nah, but Becky, let me land, let me land, let me land, let me mm. land my plane, yeah? It don't sit well with me when he's saying, I haven't done it. Well, if I did, what's it got to do with you? I don't like that, Becky. You ever did or you didn't, and it, because you brought it to the app. That's why people keep probing you about it. If it was in silence, if it was in silence, and I'm saying hey, it's a bad thing, but if you didn't put your business online, if it wasn't in bed online, people wouldn't keep having an opinion. Do you with me? <laughs> I know, I feel like the last business that come across, he didn't put online, it was just brought up by... Yeah, but because he done a live, which another thing I wanted to say mm. as well, when he done that live the other day, Koba didn't say anything. In fact, Koba was bored. In fact, he just lended his stage to people. Do you get me? So I don't yeah. know whether that girl seen that and got triggered and thought, hold on. I've gone through X, Y, and Z, but then my man's do... Do you know what I mean? It's more Rich that has the issue with Tommy, not Koba. No, I, I actually have to agree with you on some sort of points. You're not making. Okay, it's not. If you're not agreeing with me. It's not being. But like, right is right and wrong is wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're gonna lose a friend for being in the right, just lose a friend. It's okay. The Observer providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.